the Bread Brothers. Uh, it's always something. Always something. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? You're not hiding very well, if that's what you're trying to do. Is there a surprise involved? Oh. Well, oh, boy. Look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at you with your Christmas jacket on. Uh, here we go. <laughs> It was, there wasn't enough room to hide. It's not like one of your stages. I, I know. I can see your back. <laughs> it's like the time I tried to do the bathtub gag. <laughs> <laughs> you see me crawling out with clothes on. Yeah. Uh, we're back, Gene. We're back. Hey, How welcome, about those gang. Apples? Yeah. yeah. Look at all the people Rocco Rotten, Sergeant ZTM, Marcello Bartaro, James. Look at it. everybody's here. Trist, oh my Molly, god. Molly, Jesse, Dwayne. Everybody, Cassidy's here. Oh my goodness. Bratton. You got a big Deborah. Big... Deborah. Hey, listen, everybody. Deborah Fourth's apartment building had a big fire mm. and she lost a lot of stuff. So if you want to help her out, there's a Venmo on her Facebook page. So give it a give it a look. I I, I, yeah. gave her, I threw some change her way. She needs Send it. She's a our some. friend. Send her a little yeah. something. something. Hey, can um, I just and hope first... all works out, Deborah. Hope, hope all is okay yeah. over there. Glad you're uh, safe. Uh, can I be the first to say mm -hmm. congratulations to everybody involved in the Muppets Mayhem on their sixth Emmy nomination? That's going to guarantee you a second season. I can. You better yeah, I feel it. Ready. I feel it's. Uh, I feel it's probably going to happen now. You know, so um, <laughs> I'm really excited about that. You know, we got. We got it all figured out exactly what we want to do for the second season. So I, I think they're probably just going to say yes. They've got to now. There's no yeah. there's no going back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Have I shown you these? Oh, no. Yes, you showed me. Yes. Yes. I want to show I want to thank uh, um, Isaac Robichaud of Muppet Finger Puppets. I was admiring some of his finger puppets and he sent me these three jeans. You've got regular jean. <laughs> Christmas Jean, and this is Muppets Haunted Mansion Jean, which which has a coating that helps it glow in the ah, dark. Yeah, the ah, light. Oh, it glows in the dark. How cool! And then he sent me. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can. But I have a Jean as well. I have a Pepe, and I have a Rolf, which is very sweet. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very kind. Um, so we were only else? able to get one. We were just able to get one puppeteer this time. Yeah. We so we we're going to have a lot. Yeah. But we were only and, able to uh, get. And unfortunately, um, well, they're not very. He's not good. even a good puppeteer. Yeah. yeah, so he does the thing where his the top part goes up all the time. Yeah, uh, but it'll be fun. So, but let's. Should we get started? Is there anything else we need to say? Uh, don't let me see my list here. Da, 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 da. No. Oh yes, we have a special surprise at the very end of the show. Do you remember oh. our? Muppets got America's Got Muppet Talent contest last year, and the winner, Liana Rivera, who was singing uh, Rainbow Connection, well, she was nice enough to send us uh, a new version of it playing ukulele. Beautiful. And she sent us an MP3. It's really nice. So at the very end of the show, as we run the end titles, we're going to play that for you. So hang around so you can hear it. It's really nice rendition. Yeah, you know, it's really beautiful. It's such, really an original take on it. I love what she did with the melody. It's really nice. Yeah. And we have a special cameo. We're not going to say when they're showing up, but we have a special cameo from the Muppets Mayhem show uh, that's joining us. Uh, so that'll be a little surprise. All right. Let's get started, shall we, Eugene? Yes, William. All righty. Are we bringing uh, them all on together or separate? How do you want to do it? I think let's 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 introduce one at a time. All you know? Right. You want to – you click and I'll say something. All right. <laughs> Since we're, we're, but we're talking about you know just the, the idea that this is part four of our Meet the Mayhem. So part three, uh, sorry, part three. <laughs> There's four parts. Part three of Meet the Mayhem. So let's introduce them uh, one at a time. Mr. Matt Vogel, Sergeant Floyd Pepper. 
Hello there. Yeah. Hello, Gene. Yeah, Hello, Bill. Him. Hello. Hi. You? you got your Hello. hat on. Very, very I cute. Do. Oh yeah, I do have my. Oh, by the way, hat going on. Nice. I do have my Floyd hat on. Yes. yes. Matt, do you know what Billy gave uh, my son Ben that hat? He wears oh, yeah. it every single day of his life now. It's a very comfortable he's, hat. He's like the kid with the hat now. He looks yeah. good. Like you look good with that hat too. He looks good. Yeah. It's like certain people can wear this hat that works. It's a good hat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's. Let's bring on uh, Mr. David Rudman. Janice is in the house. I can't wear that hat. I can't Why? either. I can't wear that hat. <laughs> it looks good. I'm gonna, I, it doesn't look good on you? No. But you look great with long eyelashes. <laughs> you really do. Wig. Yeah. 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 And we also have with us Mr. Eric Jacobson, the Hannibal Ooh. Animal. There he is. Hey, hey. Who's got hey. two two Emmy nominations? One for, for yeah. Sesame Street and one for Muppets Mayhem. Right. <laughs> wow. you know, I don't know how that happened. Uh, well, it's called talent. Uh, and we also have with us Miss Leslie Carrera Rudolph. Woo! Penny. Here's Penny from the show. There she is. Hey, I girl. just want to squeeze you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. And uh, and we have Alice Deneen, who basically covers for all of us all the time and creates amazing characters and, and our co-captain on the show. She uh, kept uh, the thing moving along, and, and, and she and I kind of had elbows and figured out how to do all this stuff together. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, but welcome, guys. Hello, everybody. This is, our first, segment. Hello. this is our first segment, everybody. We're going to have four segments today. So yes. this is the first group. Uh, isn't it great how we're all going to be going back for that second season? Yeah. Huh? So exciting. Wait. Yeah. When right. do we start shooting? Yeah. Uh, we're, we'll, start, we'll start writing uh, in January, and then uh, we'll start shooting probably in, yeah. like last year, our last season. You know, we'll probably Emmy start. Award. start shooting probably it was bound to happen. Six um, nominations, guys. You got to get seven before them to give you a second season. Oh, that oh, I think that's what it so is. So close. We yeah. thought it was the number more. one album bonus that might have helped. Well, that yeah, was that nice have, too. Pushed it over. <laughs> you have to have two number one albums. I don't know. You know I don't know what you got to do. And at least you have to get. You you can't get all good reviews. That's what this is the problem. You know, uh, you need a couple right. bad ones to get renewed. Right. Yeah. You, know, you know what? Think more it, really it, high. No, you know, know, it's it's this podcast is not over, okay? I think they're mm. going to see this. They're going to see <laughs> just how it? much fun we had <laughs> during this around. show, and yeah. they're going to say, "Oh my gosh, yeah, we got to go back for more. We got to give them more fun." Yeah, because we know yeah. Iger watches. Uh, he's always he's always checking <laughs> out the Beretta <laughs> Brothers. <laughs> that, that <note>. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he texted me right now. He said, I "Oh." I can't believe you name dropped me. Uh, <laughs> you want me to text him back? He says thumbs up. We got it. Oh, oh my look, God! He's in, he's in okay. the chat. He's in the Good. chat. Wow. Unbelievable! <laughs> oh, that's amazing. See how things work out. That's See? so great. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, this was a, uh, I think, an interesting, fun show to do. Um, does anybody have like something? that they want to share as far as either uh, a, a, a musical moment that you really loved, either doing it or seeing it afterwards once the show was finished. Can we start with, let's start with Alice. I, that immediately leaps to mind doing a bridge over troubled water late at night on the janky floor of a janky Robata restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and we're lying, yeah. it's very uncomfortable. It's very late. It's very hot. There, I, I remember there being a lot of problems, which it was my job to sort of overcome. Like, how are we going to fit everybody yes. in here and get all the monitors in here? And where do people put their feet? And, and it was, and it was, it was difficult. There were a lot of background actors there. There was a lot going on. Grease. And then there was, <laughs> okay, the floor. Um, but, and then Matt comes in with that song and just the, te it's the tears and the emotion. It was so real and it was so heartfelt and it was so magical. And that's, I mean, that's one of many, many times when all the weird discomforts of what we have to do to do this just evaporates that happens mm, all the time right. all the time but that was one that leaps to mind because it was one of the 
more uncomfortable in one of the larger evaporations. So wow. thank you yeah. for that, that well, moment. I... And thank you for mentioning it, Alice. But I, I do want to say, because usually we pre-record our stuff. We, we pre-record everything because it's hard to sing. And mm. it's hard to sing with the puppet on and up in the air. And so we tried it like the regular way. We, they pre-recorded then Bill like I don't even know if we'd started shooting it yet. I know we'd rehearsed it, but I think at one point Bill came up and he goes, he leaned down and he goes, just, just sing it live. And I was like, sing it live. And he's like, yeah, just, just sing like the beginning live. And then when the band comes in, like, then we'll go into the, the pre-record. And he like worked out with the, the, our audio team, how to make that work. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll sing it live. And I did, I sang Killed it live it. like in the, in, on, yeah. in the take, I think it's me really. Singing it is live. live right? Absolutely. Uh-huh. And yeah. right when you funny. finished, the crew, I mean, they usually don't applaud after a take or yeah. anything, but oh, everybody that's... just like, applauded. yeah, <laughs> that was it fun. was so it was beautiful. amazing. It was moving. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. It was yeah. Yeah. Fun. How about was, David? Chills down the spine. Yeah, it was cool. Mm. Da- David, any um, moments that you? I, well, I, the one I was surprised by was the Minecraft one because I, when we were shooting it, oh. I had no <laughs> idea what that was going to look like. We didn't yeah, either. Really, Nobody did. I, know, <laughs> <but> I couldn't. <laughs> Matt song like that song is one of my favorite songs and it was fun to you know record it and shoot it but you know so much was done afterwards mm. um and I, I was very surprised by how emotional it was with you know and just yeah. the visuals were incredible that was a Linda and Perry so the, song was that the yeah. we are one yeah, we yeah. are one. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really great, like and, great song, yeah. and just like the visuals and the mind. It was. It turned out yeah, great. Like it was. It a really translated nice really well to yeah, that video it did. game. That's yeah. my and favorite. that was also we recorded that. That's a, like when we shot it. It was slower, wasn't it? Shit that's right. Slower, yeah. and then yes, through some yeah. sort of we magic. redid it. Yeah, we sped it up right. a little bit, and that's yeah. That, fixed that's my places. favorite. That's my favorite Matt vocal on the album. There's that waver you do it's with your great. voice that. Yeah, that sounds Just great. It's that, Linda that was on the demo. Thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're just trying to copy Linda, right? Yeah, it was on the demo, and I'm like, well, I gotta do that, I guess. <laughs> so I try to do it. Oh, it, it turned great. out great. It's, and I also yeah, love it because really Ringo great. Star plays the, yeah. the drums yeah. on right. that, which is really oh, cool. So yeah. cool. That was yeah. so fun playing. Oh, okay. Right next to Ringo's drum, right? You were in the room with him, right? The album, yeah, Yeah. man, so cool. Great, I just looked over at him, (laughs) look over at me. Wasn't it like, didn't you like guys switch? Did you guys switch sticks at one time or something? Yeah, yeah, in the middle. Oh, right in the middle. We we tossed them to each other, (laughs) caught them midair, kept going. Wow, yeah, Yeah. Leslie, how about you? Well, all my vocals got cut. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't. No. You sang in the documentary episode. Mm-hmm. Oh, Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was probably so jarring and shocking. <laughs> and all you need is love, too. Yeah. Get in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I agree with <laughs> what everybody's saying. I, I think, you know, when you're in the middle of doing it and then seeing what everything transpired, everything worked. And it... it you know, because you're in the middle of it, and it was just beautiful. And the album, and you know, I don't, I don't really have anything to add except for it was just. Um, I just remember obsessing over like when I had to learn the bass part. I was so nervous. I had my husband, you know, I, I sent him the bass part. And I go, can you just show me the how to do it because I want to get it right, and I know they're gonna even if they showed it for just a little second. I just want to make sure I was doing it. And then he did it backwards. I go, no, you have to do it the other way because I'm <laughs> I'm in front. And I just remember obsessing because everybody cared so much about the music. You know, it wasn't every little detail was important, every little breath. And, you know, um, but that's what I remember. I just I just remembered every time that there was a musical moment that I just it was so important to be perfect and the band really wanted to be, you know, so that's what I loved about it as a, mm. as a performer, everybody listening to the, making sure that, you know, everything was just perfect. Even though it wasn't, yeah. we, 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 we strived for that no matter what yeah. it was. Right. You know, can so- I, can, and Eric, before you mention yours, Gene, can we share something? There's something there was, I, we have a video. Thanks to Matt, actually, that, um, 
was from when we did there in the opening of the show we were at the theater and in front of all those people in the audience and we had a little downtime our our one of our cameras was down and we were waiting and i asked leslie to do something that i think is one of the most phenomenal things we don't have the entire thing but uh it is actually what uh, what leslie did when she auditioned to become part of the Muppets back in 1996. But she did it live there in front of this audience. And uh, so we have we have pieces of it. It, it, it gets cut in the middle, um, but you'll see she's doing it in front of the crowd. And we were doing the band playing it. So everybody's in green outfits. These Very bright, flattering. <laughs> yeah, beautiful green outfits. But Jean, do you have it there? Yep, I'm ready. You ready? Here we go. Right. Yeah, let's show everybody. Can't hear it. Are you kidding? Wait a minute. No. I'm sorry. It's all right. Hold on. We got it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the tap. The audio tab is on. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, let me try this. Leslie, way. just like d just ADR it here live. Okay. I feel there. like I just did a. No. I'm not hearing it. Can you back it up too, Gene? Before you yeah. Again? Well, that's weird. Why? We did it when we were. No, I didn't hear it yet. Did you put it over like in our thing, like as you do the titles? Yeah. Oh, no, hang it could on, be hang bonus. On, hang on. It's Are you okay because we... when we do this live, when we go on live, it'll when we actually it'll, like, do it, it'll iron work. it all out. Yeah. Eric, how about you? What um, what can you a moment for you, musically? Gosh, I you know, um, I really loved all the songs, um, but I was really surprised. I think a lot of us were surprised. It just how, um, not just how catchy, but um, how, how much I, I I couldn't get enough of the the opening credits. Oh, that yeah. song, and, yeah, and right. just, <laughs> it was just. I think I remember some of us commenting on it when we first heard it, and we said we said, "Oh, that sounds that sounds like a like a sitcoms you know yeah. opening yeah. theme. It's not that's not a real song." Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, it does sound like an opening to a show. Yeah. And and I it's love memorable. it. I can't get enough of it. I just want to hear it on repeat over and over. And yeah. this is um, the biggest fight Adam and I had. We yeah. had it. Oh, yeah. He and I went head. To, we went at it over this thing. I just felt like it. It just felt too 80s, too. Oh, right, like, right. Almost mm -hmm. too on the nose, rock and roll. We, you know. Yeah, but did and, you come around? Well, so once we <laughs> recorded it, once we recorded it, and I heard everybody right, and it and it kind of, I don't know, I just I couldn't hear it. The demo just felt not like the band yet. But when I guess I heard it finally recorded and finished, I I liked it, and I had to like, I was like. I, you know, I apologize. I was, I was completely wrong. People were going to love this song, you know, and, uh, yeah, and we yeah. kissed and made up. But we really, we really were like, had a thing for like a, wow. about a week. Yeah. Well, music's a wow. funny thing like that, too. I mean, it, you know, it, it's, it's so ephemeral and the, you know, you can't, you can't really argue like, oh, you, you don't like this. You can't right. say you, you're wrong for liking right. this. It's, Right. It's like everybody's got their own taste and everything, but um, I feel like we really, um, well, lucked out with yeah. with mm -hmm. all yeah. the talent that went into making these really, really wonderful, you know, wonderful set of songs. I mean, yeah. it, it's a great set list if we were ever to go out on the road and and do, and do, it, <laughs> right? do a concert. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it I mean, we would think we would have like won something for like an album or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I have it. also the closing oh. theme when we, you know, when we did the oh my gosh. The, the lyrics for the closing theme, oh, yeah, that happened mm -hmm. like at the very end. That was like right. a last second mm -hmm. addition, and that turned out great. Like that closing yeah. closing theme song. Yeah, yeah, it's just on the that album, but it's a really good track. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's yeah. see if this works. Mm. Right, okay. Ready? Come on. No. Um, oh, oh, what a bummer. It looks what? cool, though. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah. 
I yeah. Stop Later they <laughs> projected Dorothy Gale onto the green screen, like the, a gingham dress for oh, all the bummer. characters. <laughs> okay. Well, Gene, we're seeing your whole thing here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the Give away surprises. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, I guess if Gene, are, are you going to, should we just move on from there? I'm just going to try opening it as an app, just a, as the app. The, hang on. Here we go. As a quick time. One last thing. Yeah. Make oh sure you God. click audio or something for it. It just says, worth the wait. Audio. Yeah. I don't know. It is less than no, <laughs> but you've got that spin down. I Damn, do every time you do mm -hmm. that spin. That's that's definitely the <laughs> the tornado into glitter. Damn it. Oh well, okay. Um, <laughs> well, do uh, we describe what it was that she did? Because it's well, I'm hoping oh. we still get it, but, yeah. oh, but okay. basically, right. I, well, can, we could say it's actually what is it? Let's see, how long is it actually? Two minutes? Um, it, it depends on my stress level, it could be <laughs> okay. anywhere between two to three minutes. So it's it's the Wizard of Oz in two to three minutes, basically summarized and 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 amazingly performed all the different so characters from Dorothy to Uncle Henry. Uh, what's his name? Is it Uncle Henry? No, what's his name? What's the um, Uncle, Henry. Uncle Henry? Yeah, the Wicked Witch, the Lion. I mean, Toto, the Munchkins, <laughs> the Munchkins. Munchkins in there. Every it's um, it is amazing, and so and it was just like perfect. What? Well, the Oz is like the Wizard of Oz is a wonderful world, like the Muppets are. You know, that mm. was I when I was young. I just would escape into worlds, you know. Right. And I think that's why the Wizard of Oz is important to me. That's why we have Mupp the Muppets were important to me. Like different characters were so important to me, and I also feel like they're like courage, wisdom, love, hope, home. And I feel like in a perfect cast, you know, we have yeah. those characters and everybody takes a turn at who gets to play those parts. And I just think it's like, that's, I think why I love the Muppets so much, you know, yeah. and the Wizard of Oz. So for, for me, um, it, it's fun to do. So that's I think I might have an answer here. Cool. <laughs> Wait, not yet though. Keep talking. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Wait, so, wait, so, wait, so, wait, so, wait, so let me. Wait, I, I have one more music thing. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I have a I have a Spotify playlist uh, that's entitled um, "Songs the Muppets Have Covered," and it's all the original versions. So that I, you know, just because they're songs that I like and that and that uh, that bring back memories, and I find that I just like the Muppet versions better. Like I like Janice's <laughs> version of Suffra "Suffragette City" so much better. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like yeah. your version of, of uh, "Bye with Little Help from My Friends." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you my. know, and the and the uh, the home. Matt that you did I just oh, I just yeah. like I just like the I, I don't know I like you guys versions better and this it album resonates really, yeah, yeah okay. the, the, this this album really turned that up it added added so many more uh okay ready yeah yeah, yeah it did. Oh my God. let's see oh. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, it's supposed to where's the whole video? Yeah. That, it, it ends there and then there's a part two. Hang on. Oh, no, you're I, killing me. I, <laughs> what? I, 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 I think the higher power sent you the whole thing. Oh god. Gene, boys, boys, so disappointing. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Alice, so, so, um, I just want to—I wanted to ask you too. So, Alice, so people know out there, um, was co-captain on the on the show, and also everybody's right hand at some point, but also filling in for characters. Um, so, I'm curious, like, how you, how you figure out or work with the other performers to, you know, stand in for them when you need to, like if someone was sick or they couldn't be on the set and you would fill in for Janice and Matt, I think one show it had you as everybody <laughs> at, at yeah. some point, <laughs> maybe not animal, uh, um, but, but, uh, 
But how do you guys work that out? I think people would find it interesting to know how you, you know, do mm. that. Well, I think I think probably all of us can do this. But if we're watching um, a Muppet or a Sesame Street bit that has that has neutral characters in it, chickens or AMs or you know monsters that that we aren't necessarily assigned this character is this person, I think we can all spot who's doing them, even if they're not speaking. <laughs> We can, you know, monster right, in the, the background. Styles. I can say, yeah, I can say, oh, that's that's, you know, that looks like Marty. Or, I think I think probably Pam's doing that one back there. Or, or uh, I know Carmen's little dance move. Mm. Right. And so we watch <laughs> each other, and we pick up, um, yeah, we pick we pick up just the little things that 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 each one of us does in our in our in our manip manipulation. And, um, uh, you know, I mean that. That Peter guy is probably the best at this, at, at really being able to yeah, Peter is great. manipulation yeah. style. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, I I see that he does that, and I try to do it too. But really, just pick up on what it is that that each person does to make that character that character. But then, do you guys discuss dialogue? Do you record? Does anybody record dialogue and send, or do you send little message? I mean, how does that? Do you ever do um, that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah, when we can, and David did that for for Janice when he couldn't be there. But there were also some times when it was so last minute that there wasn't any opportunity to do that. Right. Um, there were a few little COVID scares and uh, a couple of um, couple of uh, traffic or personal family things that happened very last minute, and and so there's right. no time no time to prepare. So you just do your best and ask for forgiveness later. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'm gonna just share. I got it. Photo. Are you sure? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, it's not your fault, Tim. Who's the nasty dog? I knew it could be. What about you? What? I don't know which one. What was that? so beautiful that moment and just people right. joining in you know it's just the best so you know what i love every time i've seen you do that leslie you after you finish you go like this oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oops did i just do that <laughs> um uh okay oh so so i just want to share a couple of photographs gene shall i just do that or do you have them I, Can I do, it? do you trust gene <laughs> here I'll, I'll do it i'll do it i'll do it Yes. No, you know what? That's the video is always a pain in the butt for something up for some reason on StreamYard. <laughs> Here's a fun photo. <laughs> Anybody want to tell us what that's from? Well, Matt, it's from Matt, the Muppets Mayhem. Uh huh. <laughs> I believe that Alice and I are in the bus, like the real bus. The bus. It's yes. probably very close to the last day, I'm guessing. I think we're, mm -hmm. I think it's like where they discover the the uh all the money i think that's during that scene i think yeah the end Alice, do you remember I think yeah this is the, yeah. the, that's the back of the seat that, that's just a seat yeah. back with no with no seat um to, it was but, a but thousand degrees behind us it was, it was a thousand degrees. so hot in there that's right yeah you can was, see it in your face your face is yes red. yeah it was flushed and, and, and red and i think so that was that must have been one of the last few days because I think I was doing I was doing Janice with you there. We're doing yeah. Janice and Floyd there, right? That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, here I got another one to share real quick. Um, sorry, we're almost running out of time. It went by so fast. Yeah, I love this one. What's this about, David? <laughs> ah, uh, this was this was cut from this was <laughs> Janice doing the limbo. Yeah, right on the beach. Yeah. And the idea was that she was supposed to 
do something like that wasn't humanly possible. Like actually turn her, bend her back all the way back flat. as far as it can go and <laughs> right. flat yeah. and then just wow. kind of walk under the limbo bar. Yeah. And I don't know, we did it so many times. It was really painfully hard on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> you kept, you guys, can, she's got to go flat or back. She's got to go. And I, and I just oh um, did what I could do and it wound up getting cut. So, but this, at least people can see the picture. It was fun. Right? It was a fun. Yeah, bit. It was fun to do. Yeah. We had fun on the beach. Yeah. We did a whole bunch of stuff did. on the beach. We did a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. 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 Supposed to be the. Uh, it was supposed to be in the opening number um, yes. in the first mm -hmm. episode, right? That's right. And you, yeah. uh, and you Eric, and you Matt and I, are in there. I you saw and, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I that it. I go, "There's Matt Yeah, that part in there. Speaking of that, raise your hand. How many of you have had to have? surgery or some major physical therapy because of your profession uh, me not surgery no, no but surgery. i've had like yeah. physical therapy yeah physical therapy i don't know yeah. maybe maybe physical therapy maybe How about brain well brain i don't surgery? know i don't i don't <laughs> i don't know I just, I, I, you, you, know, put me, you put me to sleep like and you know. gave oh. out because of 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 puppeteering or be, oh. because of that uh tough mutter i once did no, like when you never have done. When, when, <laughs> uh, no, no, like when you had the lobotomy, Eric. What was that? Like? <laughs> well, no. I think I think it was a vast improvement. Yeah. Here's uh, <laughs> here's Leslie. Give people an idea of what's going on yes. under Penny. Okay. Well, uh, um, I, so I had a backpack that had a metal pole up my back that went into Penny's hump. <laughs> Cause she like she took like the the weight, and um, she was actually you know like pretty well. She was really well balanced, and so then she had a I had my live arm, and then this, and then the other arm. So she was pretty well balanced. And the monitor it was the first time I used a chest monitor ever, but it was also oh really oh I didn't know yeah. That so that was a new experience. Plus it was it was a two two shot, so it was four screens. Yeah. Really small. And so my glasses didn't work. I found oh, out. Right, and so I had right. to get a pair of like readers to do that. And so I tried to memorize my lines anyway because there was too many new things I had to know right, to learn. Right. So right. I was underneath there, but she was well insulated. But the first I didn't get my own backpack until like two weeks in. Oh, that's so right. The, you have mine. <laughs> the funny thing about, Bill's kind of built, built like Fred Flintstone. Different. <laughs> <laughs> so for the, for the very first time, the backpack didn't fit. And so it came down to about here. <laughs> <laughs> so it was so weird. It was like, it was so funny. So it was, it was it, that first, um, and we shot all my scenes first, like for the first three episodes. You oh, know, so right. I was yeah. learning a everything. First, you did amazing. You did amazing. Yeah, you did. Time character, first mm -hmm. time everything. And I was like, it was so. Right. And Alice knows, like, I crawled out from under the couch and I grabbed her and we bear hugged for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you did amazing. You did I'm sorry to keep moving along. I, we're we're running a little over, and I know we have people that are going to come up, but let me just show something else here real quick. <laughs> I just want to give people an idea of one of the sets and there's there's alice and i down there kind of prepping uh for the next shot that's on one of our directors matt Sohn to the left um and as you can all see out there this is kind of one of our sets how the everything is raised up off of the ground off of the stage floor animals beautiful drums eric how about getting in behind that how what was that like playing back there <laughs> well it was first it was Usually quite an obstacle course just to get there. Get in, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. once once I'm there, you know, it's it was it was very cozy. I yeah. felt a little, you know, a, a you know, a little insulated from everybody, just like I'm sure Leslie felt <laughs> at times. Right. You know, like what's going on? What's going on out there? You know, yeah. like yeah. um, because you know, I was just surrounded by this wall of, of drums and, and set. But um, but it, it was it was cool. It, and I loved having the double bass, um, you know, back for animal. Cause that, right, that's, right. that's, uh, that's classic. You know, ha yeah. That's classic. Yeah. Yeah. Really great. Beautiful. Really great. That's awesome. Hey, uh, mm -hmm. I hate to say it. Gene, we got him. Mm -hmm. 
kick some like people out of here, right? Forward. Yeah. Except Thank we're going to keep Alice. We're going to keep Alice. I'm going to hang out for just a minute. That makes sense. Well, thanks for having us, Bill yeah. and Jane. Nice thanks. See you guys. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Good to thanks, guys, everybody. We yeah. could have talked Good about so many more things. I Good luck the next season, yeah. okay? Hey, you know what? Let me let me say this, actually, before we kick you all off. If there's anybody that would like to stay, I think we could keep a couple people if you can. Anybody? Any hands? Anyone wants to hang out a little while? You can leave whenever I you like. I know I got to jump off. trying to get in yeah. because of the 10. David's got to go. All yep. right. David, thank you. We're going to kick. Let's hear. Let's go one at a time. Hi, David. David. Bye, guys. Get the hell out. We're getting the hell out of here. Get, get out. out of here. <laughs> Bye. All right. Anybody else uh, need to run away right away? I got to go feed my family. All right. Matt, <laughs> Matt get the hell out. Make yeah. tracks, mister. <clears throat> Anybody else? I, I got to go be fed by Matt. All right. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Eric. You. Love you. Bye. Goodbye. Leslie? Love oh, you. Okay, love you, Leslie. You. Yeah. You Leslie, text me about text me about the book. Talk to you later. Yes. Bye. <laughs> hey, uh, Alice, uh, call me about that thing we're gonna <laughs> that, do later. That thing, yeah, with the thing Christ. and the yeah. There's magic and sparkles. Yeah. Hey, what, we're gonna go to that restaurant, right? So just text yeah. me, and we'll we'll talk about okay. what we're gonna have. All right. Yeah, right. remember there's a dress code. <laughs> well, let's not talk about that now. Oh, okay, right. You call yeah, you right. call me later and we'll work it out. All right. All right. Whoever was trying to get in uh, They're all here. during that last one. Well, I, we got a message that said someone was trying to get in, but we have a 10 people limit. Yes, but we're, we're good now. We're all good? We're good. Okay. Yes, we're all good. All right, so let's bring in the next batch. Let's bring in this first <clears throat> lovely young lady. Many people out there we know know. She's a fantastic performer, and she's my now my mom. <laughs> Here she is, Doctor Teeth's Doctor Teeth mom. Oh, she's drinking. I didn't oh. think you meant me. You said young. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking who? Come on, it's gotta be. Uh, look at you. You're young, darling. Darling, you can how have are your you? appearance touched up on StreamYard now. I clicked that box, baby. Oh, did you do the? Oh, I yes. clicked the box. I don't know what it did, but right. you use Stream Face. Stream Face. <laughs> <laughs> I got it injected right. The little little Stream Face injected right there. No, and, not, um, and sorry. Not only I'm just gonna keep moving just to get it. Oh, and one more person yeah. on here. Just uh, not only is my mother here, but uh, also uh, Doctor Teeth's dad. Here's Gerald. Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, my David. goodness. I didn't click the smooth face box, so per, uh, forgive me for all the cracks and craters. Oh, you, you did the beard box? I did, yeah. I wanted to see what I looked like. You look great. good. I, it's amazing that you guess how old I am. Huh. Fancy. Nice. I uh, did put on tinted 30. sunscreen. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. You Welcome. Don't need, you don't even need David. that, darling. Oh, thank you so much, Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was talking to Alice, but I also met yeah. you. So we had we had a sidebar oh. going on. Oh. <laughs> I'll just I'll be over here eating my Oreos. No, no, no. You um, are young. Mic. So oh, enjoy thank that. You. Oh, I turned 40 last week. I oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Very I, nice. I don't feel yeah. old, but I feel like I've I guess I'll never cross over into the space of being told that you're old. I'll always be the young one. <laughs> you're still the only one not wearing glasses. That's oh, right. Glasses. Where are my glasses? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> hey, so um, we were earlier we were just talking a little bit about um, Alice covering for some of us, and at different times she's like the uh, the the all in one kind of performer where she can just do everybody at some point mm -hmm. and does incredibly. Um, and she got to fill in for you, Steph, right? In, in, uh, was it the Yeah, in the, the very last? last episode, the last right. time you saw Tina. Yeah, unfortunately, some schedule stuff changed, and I right. uh, had to be with David uh, Rudman at Don Quixote. And yep. um, it, was, it was a hard choice to make, and I ultimately had to pick the show that would miss me less. Right. Um, Although we did miss you. Well, I appreciate so that. Uh, yes. I, 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 I just My character had a big show, and uh, there was just no way to... I, I I would have loved to have been there. I would have loved to have had oh, the closure and it, all that stuff. It killed me. Right, so it gave them time guys to talk behind your back. It gave them time yeah. to talk behind your back. It was all right. make fun of you a little bit. Exactly. Well, you do that anyway. But yeah. I'm so grateful that Alice was willing to step in. Truly, truly grateful that you were yeah. willing to do that. 
yeah. Did you guys discuss uh, her at all? Like, as far as what you know, any thoughts about no, anything Alice, you guys talked about? Alice is a um, I mean, did we? Oh. Yeah, remember that. I think the littlest bit, but also I had the great advantage of watching you develop that character on set that night at mm. uh, at cavity con like you, you oh, really were you yeah. were workshopping it all the way up until that's, and, that's and, true you know and, and it was also, great I feel like characters lock in until the cameras are rolling really like you can rehearse a whole lot Absolutely. you can prepare a whole lot but until you're in that moment and you're doing dialogue with yeah. david and bill then you know that's when the character suddenly goes Oh, that's yeah. who that is. And yeah. I, I, I was just sitting there watching that happen with Tina. Yeah. So, right. Yeah, Alice like, is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Alice, you're so observant. And you, 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 again, you, you do that with everyone. You watch everyone. And so you, you, you knew. And also, it was what, ultimately four or five words total. <laughs> so, yeah. It really oh, wasn't. Right. Yeah, it was just cheering at the Hollywood. But Bowl. still, there's the so, attitude of her, and oh, right. I mean, yeah. right. Of course, yeah. No, but, no, no. But I'm saying it wasn't <coughs> like she was filling in a big, you know, right, like right. I knew that it wasn't that it was, it wasn't that it was easy. It was that I knew she, you know, I had no, I had full you faith had no worries, that that right. yeah, no Aww. worries because she she gets it and yeah, right. it was it was great and I'm but so what, grateful. But so where did where does and so I have to say there there were two two. Two characters that, in my mind, I knew who they were going to be when we were <laughs> when we were writing them. And one was I, I always had in my mind Penny was Leslie in some way. I like I could hear her in my head. It wasn't completely positive. I wanted to hear more people, but I like there was something because I'd heard her do something before. And then with you, Stephanie, I also felt like there was this this character because I don't know. I just, I guess it was like the, 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 the pride thing in her. I knew you could huh. find that, that woman who was like this strong, you know, she was the doctor in the family, you know, and poor Gerald, you know, he was, <laughs> <laughs> he just yumped, you know, all the time. He's just happy to be there. Um, but what was it like kind of finding that? character well, i would have had no idea until you've said this that i that that i would even have been in your head because oh yeah i hadn't i didn't even had a chance to audition for a for a disney muppet project maybe ever so um to, to even be in the mix not a lot of characters to audition for either right really, but i mean even years, to yeah. come out and assist mm -hmm. maybe a couple of things like one day mm -hmm. on letters to santa and there just oh, hadn't well. been a lot of opportunities to work with you right. as much as I would have wanted to. So right. to be in the mix for anything was a was an honor and I just was so yeah, I'm I'm glad I didn't know, but I really didn't know because I when I looked at it, I guess it it was clear from the words, the lack of punctuation, the way it was written, the way <laughs> it was laid out. I mean, it was just this brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
very right, often. Right, so right. So right. it was just a fun little thing to sink your teeth into, even if for just a you know day of prep. So. And she's tough. She's tough. Yeah, yeah. Very I think good. that was that was because not knowing what was going to happen in the script. I didn't know what her arc was. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know it was a guest role until oh, I got right. it. Oh, it wasn't wow. clear from the the uh, audition specs oh. that it was a guest. I didn't know. I didn't know anything about what the series was going to ultimately be. So right. it was all just unfolding <clears throat> before me. So yeah, I, I didn't know how hard that was going to be, <laughs> and I just thought, well, you know, stay the course and hope for the best. You know, right. we, have a, we have a question here that I don't think has ever been asked. Yeah. I'll bring it up here. Jesse Oliver asks, for Stephanie, what does Tina think about Dr. Teeth's Muppet friends like Kermit, Piggy, Fozzie, Gonzo, and the rest? Who just oh, disappeared? Did we lose? Uh, oh. oh, yeah. We lost Mr. Bizarro disappeared. David. We lost David. He'll come back. Well, I just think that those, I mean, I, I don't I do not understand why my son likes to hang out with all sorts of shady individuals who could have a real job, but they don't. I mean, I'm sure they are very, very nice. Oh, uh, that animal. Uh, I do. I, I just anybody who has to be on a chain <laughs> on a regular basis. I just I do not I do not inherently trust. <laughs> and I would just have to give him gas all the time. I mean, that's, that's the only right, way to Mom. deal with a patient like that is yes, all I'm Mom. saying. Now, come on. Yes, Mom. Come on. You got to get yourself in line. You could right, have Mom. a real job. They could all have real jobs. I do not understand the the the, the lizard boy, beak boy, with the chickens. Yes, Mama. Hanging out you're, with chickens. I do not trust a hanging out you're with right, chickens. Mama. Getting <laughs> shot out of a cannon. Can you believe? Get shot out of a by choice. <laughs> <laughs> if you are choosing the, the choices you are making in your life to be shot out of a cannon. I love the um. I loved her disdain for Floyd. Too. <laughs> and that was fun to play with my buddy Matt Vogel. Oh my God. Just to yeah. be able to say Peppa. Right. <laughs> Lord Peppa. Lord Peppa. Yeah, no, I was grateful for those moments. Um yeah, so again, it, it you let me play because I'm a big honey baked ham and I don't shut up. So I'm gonna <laughs> shut up and let other people talk. Uh, no, but uh but and so David, so you had a completely opposite challenge right which was finding a character that would resonate in the simplest most non-vocal form right yeah what was that like what was how was your process that was a challenge for sure i you know i'm used to i think a lot of us as puppeteers are used to or at least in this style used to talking a lot with our characters <laughs> and a lot of our expression comes from you know uh what we're saying and, and how we're saying it and how that's coming out of us. And I had just come off of doing Waffles and Mochi, where my character talks right. a lot, but it's all nonverbal. Like it's it's all just like meeps and moops and sounds. Right. Uh, and so when I auditioned, I knew that there were a lot of people going for it that are so, so good. And I, so I didn't think anything of it. And so when I did get it, uh, I really, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take this as serious as I can. And I dug deep into my uh, my acting background. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I studied at HP Studio, and so I was just like, I was pulling out all my old notes and going like, okay, how do I do this? How do I repair? <laughs> and you know, it was really just like. Uh, and then you realized you didn't even need any of that. I didn't need any of that because I was just going to stand no, still no, and say, <laughs> "Yep," you know. It but, definitely wasn't right. You weren't interpreting dialogue through behavior. Uh, no, so no, but there I wasn't a lot of dialogue writing there. But yeah, your behavior but I, was important. It was, and I, I was reflecting on stuff that that uh, that you and and Peter and Alice taught me about, like, well, what can I, what actions can I do in the frame that aren't stealing from the frame, but are still, you know, expressing my character? Hmm. And uh, I thought, well, you know, if he's not talking a lot, what is he doing? He's used to standing there waiting, or just in his own mind thinking. And I thought, well, I think Gerald always has Werther's originals in his pocket at all times. Well, and so when he's just hanging out, you know, and, and his wonderful wife is out there talking and, and hanging out with people, he just puts a Werther's in his mouth. And so when you watch him, he's always just like, you know, just kind of chewing. He's just enjoying that little Werther's. He's thinking about a well-manicured lawn, you know. And yeah. when uh, his wife, you know, uh, calls over to him, he knows that he needs to uh, say, well, yep, you know. And uh, it was... That was that was 
uh, what was I? I was just thinking of this moment where I was I was looking at the character and there were other things that I was trying to like. I was trying to sort of find uh, ways for him to very subtly express being a caring father with like in his body movements uh -huh. uh, and just like in shifting of weight or little stuff like that. I don't know if any of it read, but right. I really tried to uh, try to meet that challenge because I'd never been challenged like that before of right. a character who has to be in the moment without really expressing a lot with their uh with their vocabulary right and and visually facially you're limited right yeah there's not a lot going on so your choice to have him chewing his little lozenges was was really <laughs> fun you know um and so i just thought you did a great job you guys Thank were you. great parents thank you for being such wonderful parents dysfunctional <laughs> But wonderful parents. Well, we had fun. We did have fun on the set, though, playing around and finding yes. it because we didn't have a lot of time to play together. Right. Yeah. So Stephanie would just go on these like little things, and we would just say yes, Mama. And uh huh. He'd say well, yeah. No, you and, would. Yeah, you yeah. would. You would bait me. Yes. <laughs> I never did I that. that. Oh, I never what? started it, Phil. What? Why? You what would say. You remember, Mama. That time you made me sleep on a marble slab, <laughs> and and me, so so I'm trying to my my whole feeling about Tina is everything she does is out of love. This is not a right. cruel person. This is out of no. love. She wants what's yeah. best for her son. She knows what's best for her son. This is not about torturing her son. So I'm right. taking this, extrapolating it in the moment, turning it around and saying, well, how else would you know how smooth enamel feels if you didn't <laughs> have that experience that I gave you? Yeah, yeah. Thank me for that. Ma Mama, remember the time you kept me in the closet for three days? And well, that's because the inside of a mouth is very, very dark. And yes, if you don't know what that is like, <laughs> you will not be able to spend an eight hour day in somebody's inner cavity. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My, I mean, again, and he would like, just, David would just be like, yep. That's yeah. right, son. Listen to your yeah, mom. Like, oh, no, just just mm -hmm. nod your head, son. Don't don't try to don't try to get involved now. You and know? and of uh, course, I, you know, I get that. That's like, yeah, it it's it's hilarious to think of, of Tina as being some sort of abusive parent. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm and so I'm trying to come at it with the what's the funniest, most character driven way I can respond to this in the moment and not turn this into a sad thing right yeah and you, right. You, you 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 so i never started i never started that bill you would All just right, say it was me mama yeah. you would just i knew it if you if you were feeling feisty <laughs> say mama you you mama. remember that time <laughs> just, yeah i didn't know what was gonna come out <laughs> my favorite was uh was uh mama you remember that time you made me eat ice cream with a fork <laughs> Like, I just imagined <laughs> young teeth eat, trying to eat ice cream with a fork. Uh, well, because it's very, very bad for you. And if you had too much of it, this is way the portion control. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. um, let me just share something, Gene. I'm going to share a photo real mm -hmm. quick. Um, hey, I got it. I got it handled, Bill. I got it right here, Gene. Watch this one. Who's gonna Wait, get I, I miss your, I miss your festive be? jacket. Where'd your festive jacket go? Just, I, I just wanted to show... Thank I just you. wanted to show, yes. um, you know, everyone at some point is supporting, right, each other. We're all kind of helping each other. So in addition to you guys doing your characters, and Alice, like we've talked about, Alice mm -hmm. is just always there. So, I mean, uh, Dr. T's hands are Alice. I mean, there's a there's a few times where we did songs where Alice was filling in and she's doing Janice or, you know, somebody else more valuable in Dr. T's hands. Uh, but we always have a lot of fun doing that. Um, but I got to do your just, hands once when Alice had to be in Janice or Floyd or someone oh, right. else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So I was I was grateful because uh, so that it, was fun. It is so, fun. It is very fun. So every but everybody gets to kind of assist in some way. So I'm just gonna I just wanted to show this real quick. This is fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is Leslie. People get to actually see the size of uh, Penny. Um, but there's Leslie and David. David, you were doing her right hand here. Yeah, I was uh, doing her right hand, and right. Uh, yeah, working with Leslie is always the absolute best. She's she's so good, and I mean, everybody saw on here just like how she's, she's crazy. She's raw, like mm -hmm. right, so, like she she's something oozes. really wrong with her. Yeah, and uh, 
I, I feel like I kind of want to be hitting the head in the bat with a bat in the same way. Like whatever it is, <laughs> I love it so much. No, she's amazing. She's been like a huge support over the years in like helping me be a better person, but also just a better puppeteer. Oh, and sweet. getting to assist her here was great because we got to tap into a lot of uh, a lot of that history between us both. That nice. was really nice. This is one I wanted to show. It's I wish it was a little more featured of uh but i just want to show this one i think it's so cool stephanie these are this is really fun um sorry it's taking a second tell us about that Which one? <laughs> ah, yeah. yeah yeah no i was i was with leslie uh with penny we were we were carrying in some wings i believe uh <laughs> you know as, as oh penny peppers though the hot peppers oh, the hot peppers that's right that's right and, at the but at it the was party. so it was scary too because of the space that you had to go through, right? We had we had no space, and for a hot second, I I actually had to enter behind Leslie, and then sneak around her to get around to the side. It's and right. of course, my arm is not particularly long, so I was just hanging on, you know, with the reach <laughs> to be able to be behind her, and then to right. come around. And uh, yeah, we both had our our tall shoes on. And so, just so Who's people who? know, which which is yours? Is, yeah. Oh, sorry, mine are the googly eyes. Now they came that way. Uh, Demonia <laughs> brand platform shoes. They're from the festival collection. Um, oh, yeah. They do glow under black light. They came with the googly eyes, and you know how shirts come with spare buttons. They came with spare googly eyes. I Aww. also have a pair in green as well that I keep. Uh, it's Biffy Pictures for Don Quixote. Um, but those I bought specifically for Sesame Street for obvious reasons, and. Uh, Got them shipped out. Now I have two pairs. I brought out the second pair, and I don't know if we have any pictures of me in the in what I call the big guns. They're actually uh, seven seven and three quarter inches high. Wow! Wow! Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Those are like uh, the ones I wear for Bobo. I I think they're about that big yeah. as well. Yeah. You have to get pretty tall. Yeah. Here, I just want to show one of this, Alice. I think you'll love this picture. I love this yeah. shot. Um, it's really what sweet. You got? Uh, sorry, it just takes me a second to do it, but I love this one. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's Donna that's Kimball. Sweet. Uh, and what's uh, happening? Where are you guys? That's that hot day in the bus, uh, right? I believe. Yeah. And it's. Um, At Janice, you're doing. I think so. I guess she was right handing for me. And yeah, uh, yeah that's Janice out the window. Uh, was that the day? Oh, maybe that was the day that they were doing decor on the outside of the bus. Either that or it was the the shot where we arrive at the end and, and every and we're loading things into the bus. Right. Yeah, right? yeah. Could you're be that. leaning out some yeah. Um yeah, but people have... just so people can see, you know, they they wonder how close are you when you're working mm -hmm. sometimes together. I mean, here's <laughs> I mean, that's as close as you can get, you know. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. The uh... woman with two heads. Huh. <laughs> now I, I think I also need to say that Alice was an amazing coordinator as well because I think one of the jobs Aww. as puppet captain um, that, that gets overlooked a lot is the, yep. is the coordination because I know she was working closely with you Bill but then there were times when you were obviously oh, in the thick of things and Alice would just be on the fly saying and especially with some of the COVID scares that we had and yeah. shuffling various <laughs> people around to various positions um, yep. Okay, well, can you do this for this? Can you do this for this? Or we only have so many people this day. And uh, I wasn't brought in every day to assist. And I, and I, I want to say something right now, because I know that there were a lot of people who are out there specifically to be support performers. And I felt bad taking day work away from them. Uh, one of the reasons it was financially advantageous for, for this, David and I, for the show. Uh, sure. for the show. Yes, for the show. Because... Right. Um, for the guest roles that we had for days we weren't working, we had to be paid holding fees. Well, for a few dollars more, uh, they could just bring us in as, uh, as support players. And yeah, um, I felt, yeah. I felt guilty about that well, at the same time. I love to play and I well, want to play. It. So, and well, that's the thing. We love having you there too. So it's like every, you know, we try to find the balance of all of that and, and yeah. hopefully we all get to play together for a little while and you get was, to be in more than just your own exactly. episode. You know, I yeah. And is, I love yeah. witnessing some of those things and getting to right hand animal for some things and getting to play with Eric and getting to play with all my pals. But Alice was amazing with the coordination and being able to observe in a scene and, and fill in and, and while she's puppeteering, you know, help with rigging and pre-rigging yeah. and all of yeah. these things. Mm -hmm. So. 
Can't yeah. do it without her. We would no. just yeah. have like we'd have brief discussions right now. It was like, okay, what do you want? Okay, can you just do that? Okay, okay, bye. And I go somewhere <laughs> and yeah. she'd figure well, it out. Were, you were doing three or four different distinct important jobs. So I mm -hmm. my my main goal was how can I take something off of Bill's plate? So that's oh, you're that. amazing. So um, actually we have so we have a very special cameo from the show. Ooh. We we want to bring Oh on. my. Um you may recognize him. Uh, well, you know, we'll just bring him on and see if you recognize him and from his episode. Here he is. It looks like his, uh, his camera is frozen or something. It froze. Oh, you can see his name. Damn it. Ah, it's ah. the frame right before the end credits. I get it. Yeah. This thing froze. It's call so him nice into, to call see him into your again. room. Uh, call He's going to try to get back on. <laughs> Figures, it was, it was all fine just until that moment. Always <clears throat> timing. Oh well. Yeah. Well, yes, we were bringing Jackson. Oh wait a minute. Oh here comes, comes some other people. Oh no. Oh. Um, is he oh, right next to there. you? Ask him to come no. in the room. I don't. What what wing on. of your house is he in? Is he too far? <laughs> yeah, right. He's in his bedroom. <laughs> He's not. Well, well since we're oh, to fetch him. Like I do want to say that with this being a puppet captain, Alice, your joy and patience was so uh helpful on set like when we i got to assist uh do feet for animal and it was something i'd never done before and that's one of those assist jobs that are so uh rare for someone like me who's coming up in uh pup tv puppetry and your calm and patience and guidance and joy was just like so helpful uh in that moment oh, for me to help keep my nerves down you. and so like yeah and then of course like you were saying with Bill, like you guys had a short conversation about how to do something. And I watched you and Eric go, okay, we're going to do this. And then we'll do that rigging. Great. Let's go. And for me, I was like, if I was doing this, this would be like an hour long discussion about how to figure this out. Like this oh. is incredible. So it was amazingly yeah. rewarding for me. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I think that, um, I think being a mom really helps coordinating with other performers because there are always those kinds of, multitasking, trying to keep everybody happy, making sure that you're really understanding what the emotional issue is here. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I'm the, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the mom of a, of a older teenager now and boy, those experiences really feed one another. Uh, and, um, because I mean, you six main guys, you're, you know, your place in the, in the pantheon, but everybody else is, uh, and everyone, everyone else is a little unsure of their role at any given time. So I, mm. I just have to be den, den mom, den Cub Scout right. leader. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of that. Anyway, um, I see a friend. We found the cameo. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I don't Isn't know Isn't that Jackson is. Beretta? Hey. Yeah. yeah. What? No. LA's <laughs> world famous as as we Jackson yeah, no, Beretta. I, it looked like it was doing fine. It I've was. been having Wi-Fi issues like all morning, and like as soon as <laughs> in I the joined... south, the south wing of your home has really bad Wi-Fi. Yeah, I think it's too yeah. far from the central router. Yeah. you might want to just think... get a booster or something. Mention yeah. that in your Yelp review. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. <laughs> but I, of your I, home. So yes, I just wanted to, your home. <laughs> um, wanted to ask you about your experience on the show. What was it like to be blue and um and do that bit? It was like, it was like having like five hundred layers of sunscreen on you. It was just like your pores <laughs> can be was so. I was so blue, so blue. Yes, I was. Uh, so blue. When I, I, when I got there, um, it was honestly so cool seeing like everybody walk around. Like a lot of people recognized. Like, hey, Jackson. I was like, oh, hi. I didn't realize that I was like, well, no. Uh, around the, around the, what kind of tips um, did you? What kind of tips did you have to give Morgan Freeman? Yeah. What did you um, know? Uh, get out of my space. Oh, right. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I have He's a hugger, that guy. In the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, moment to moment. Right. Just keep him in it. Um, when I'm not in the scene, <laughs> don't make eye contact with me. Oh, you um, told him that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, no, actually, I was, like, so nervous to talk to him. Like, I was so, like... Tell him the story when you were in the... Weren't you guys in the same trailer getting makeup Yeah, on? we were. Um, I was, I was, like, right next to him getting all the blue stuff on me. And then... Um, he turned around to look at me and he was like, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he, he was, he was shocked by, right. by all the makeup. But you had the nose. I had the nose and he didn't get a nose. And he wanted one. And apparently. he was like, I want the fucking nose. <laughs> 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 um, it was, yeah. yeah. 
Morgan oh, Freeman was denied a nose yet again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but he did have a good Jackson had a great line. I have to say, mm. I think I'm not sure if Adam wrote it or or Jeff. It wasn't me. But just, you know, lost another role to Freeman. That's a good line. That's a good line. a really good line. Yeah, I love that yeah. moment. Well, it just says everything. Another right. role. <laughs> right. Like they're always up for the same stuff. Yep. Yeah. You know? Morgan's just running around town going to all the auditions. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Every single one. Yeah. Jack Stuart walks in the room. Sure, you I'm again. Oh. <laughs> ah, there's time wasted. Yeah, why do I even right? bother? Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, the I, gang, I, yeah, we've yeah, got to go move it on because we've got oh, other people okay. coming through. Alice, oh, is that guy still hanging out next to you? Uh, he's not in the room right now. Oh, I, God, can, thank God. I can, oh, wow. I can, I can text him. He might want to. Oh. We got to get. Well, people. thank you, folks. Thank yeah, you. For, yeah. Sorry, though. thank you. Chat. Yeah, thank you. This was yeah. great. Yeah. Um, it's good to see everybody. Miss you all. And and, yeah. and what's great is that you know we got a second season, so it'll be great to be you sure. know shooting together again. So, yeah. 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 I'm really yeah. excited to uh, have my have my character say a lot of yips again. That's going to be really fun. Well, be great, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm more excited for the spinoff. <laughs> Mm. Oh right, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Style spinoff. Well, I Mama. don't know if we can talk about Geraldine. the parents' film yet, but that's really we, exciting. I there think. Is. Hey, 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 there hey, he is. Hey. Yeah, the husband. Here. Yeah, the, the spinoff I think is called Mama. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's called Mama, yeah. Yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. it's all about yeah. It's good. But, but I think what's great about Gerald's character is that um, on the second season he says nope, so it's a yeah. Paul. Different well, because you gotta have conflict, right? Yeah. Tina you know, and Gerald kind of hit a speed bump, you know, in their relationship. They're trying to figure it out. Yeah, and uh, you know, he's got to stand his ground just a little bit. And they take a in a bit. border. Right. You know, Jackson comes in as this actor <laughs> friend, you know, yeah. the guy who who needs a room. He, yeah, he, he lives like, in the uh, empty, empty patient. Uh, mm -hmm. You know. Patient, yeah, recurring uh, bit. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's when you first hear Gerald say nope. He just mm -hmm. takes one look at Jackson yeah. and goes, nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nope. <laughs> you know, it's like it's like Planet of the Apes, the big no. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, he's just yeah. no. Huh? Yeah. So we're really <laughs> looking forward to that. Yeah. Hi, Peter I'm Lynn. Excited. Look at Thank the happy guys. couple. Oh, look, look at, at these two. Oh cuties. my goodness. How was Donna, your Merry Donna. Thanksgiving? Uh, I mean, Alice, was, I hear your husband plays with puppets. He's he's okay. He's coming along. I'm learning. Yeah. Nice. He's gotten a lot better since last year. I know. I mean, he was great Not in really. the show, but honestly, I couldn't understand what he said most of the time. It was yeah. a little yeah. embarrassing. Mm -hmm. What? Nothing. No, you're great. You do great stuff. You did really good. Yeah, really yeah, good. yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm impressed with your abilities yeah. at your age. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. How's Here's how's the cute. how's the sleep? By the way, you are you getting enough sleep? Well, yeah, I was, but then there was all this noise out here. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, then sorry. I texted sorry. him. Sorry. And you texted. All Woke right. Up. All right. Well, we're gonna kick people out now. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye. Love you guys. Yeah. Get out. Miss you. Okay. Love you. Love yeah. you all. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Kick, bye. Kick, David. I have to kick myself out. I got. Oh, you. We got you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jackson. Yeah. Proud of my nephew. He's a dope. <laughs> I know. I, I thought he was. Good. I thought he was there. That's why. Hey, what that? Hey, what? what? Oh, thank you. Oh, he heard me call him a dope. Bye. Thank you, son. Yeah, I heard that. Dope. Um. Right, okay. Another... And we got two of these. Uh, how are we doing? We're a little late. Sorry, our friends uh, who've been yeah, waiting patiently. We're running up like 10 minutes late, but thank you for waiting. Why don't we bring them right on? Yes, please. Announce them, and I'll pop so, them in here. Well, uh, we just, you know, uh, we wanted to bring on some of our friends and puppeteers, Muppet performers who we can never do any of this stuff without. You know, it's uh, it's a totally collaborative. And a lot of our audience probably knows this, for, but for many who don't, it's a completely collaborative situation and we can't do characters sometimes we do them on our own but um you know we just uh we just need these folks and so we wanted to bring them on and give them a chance to talk about what it's like to be with pain in the asses like us as well uh so uh let's bring on the lovely donna kimball hello can you hear Hi. me okay 
Yes, yeah, yes. Kind of okay, good. I'm in a coffee shop in Lake Arrowhead because our Airbnb <laughs> lost power. Oh my God. But I'm here, here, man. Look at the dedication. <laughs> awesome. All right, now we're going to bring on Mr. B. Lenoil. Another fine gentleman who I've known just Hello. almost a half a decade. Uh, so, uh, I'm not in a coffee shop girl. in that Lake Arrowhead. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I feel lucky, actually. Not, nice to have you <laughs> Hi, here. Donna. Hi, Gene. We, we yeah, also have you. the lovely Bradley Freeman Jr. Oh. Hi. Hi. Thank you. How are you? How are Great you? Great to see you. And Mr. Art Vega, the incomparable Art. Mr. Art Vega. Hello. Hey. Welcome, everybody. Good to be here. Oh, hey, you know what, Donna? Donna, do us a favor. Just can you mute until... until yes, I can. Sorry. To... It's a lively coffee shop. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. That's better. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, obviously, we all know we got a second season. Isn't that great, folks? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't oh, wait well. to get back to it. All right? It's a very exciting... Made Donna cry. <laughs> 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 um, so I don't know. I mean, it sounds like an obvious question, but I, I'd love to just kind of go around and get a take on maybe specific moments that you really enjoyed or that you remember or that you were annoyed about or thought we could have done <laughs> differently. Um, also, also let the our viewers know who you worked on and you know which characters. Well, they did so many things. They all did okay. many, many different things. But if you have something in particular, you know, that you might want to mention, um, you know, a certain character that you worked on or you had more fun doing than maybe another, up to you guys. But Adana, I, I'd love to start with you, actually. Um, I was just, Oh, can I just show something? I, want, I, you, I don't think you saw this, but I just wanted to show you because it was um, when Alice was on. Can I just show you this real quick because I love this photo. Uh, that. Can you see that? Yes, oh. that was great. That was in the bus. Oh my gosh, I love that. I have an amazing photo of Peter and Dave with their arms out the window. I think it's a bit of video actually. And so I go from the the video, the monitor of what they're shooting, and then their bodies with the with the moving oh. bus. So exciting. oh right, I think really this was day. I think this was that hot, sweaty where we didn't move day. Well, I think where we did the uh, the last scene of the season where. Right, we were sitting. I think we're at the shack. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. we were all sweaty loading and stuff hot up to the last time. Yeah, yeah. Right, loading things in through the, the window, which was nuts. Right through the window. Yeah. Uh, sorry. So let me just. I'll take that off. But um, so any moments that you enjoyed or hated? So many. Uh, I'll talk. I, I have a few things that I was going to email you in case I could make it. Oh yeah. And they sure. they were. I said this to Matt in the van, but I felt. My overall take was it was such it was so moving to see how you core performers are brothers and how you really love and look out for each other. Not bros, but oh. brothers. And oh. I that was just wonderful to see. Uh, my nerd my nerd out moment was making Janice play bass for the first time in Muppet history on Gotta Be. Oh, wow. um, and I, I asked Dave, I said, is this the first, has Janice ever played bass before? And he's like, not that I know of. I'm like, good enough for me. <laughs> so I was like, it's like, okay, great. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm making Janice play bass. So that was super exciting. Um, and then the, the third thing was, oh, uh, I loved sitting outside our, our trailers, learning the instrument parts with, Bradley and B, and I don't know if you remember, we would sit in the doorways of our little trailers and one of us would play it on our phones and we'd be doing this. Or Is doing that what this. you guys did? Oh, you yeah. did? So you were over outside together? Over. Yeah. We were trying to prep for you. Yeah, we weren't just freeloading. Actually. <laughs> no, no, I know. I just didn't know where it happens. Like, I don't know where you guys are. Are you, well, you were, on your own together? You were in every this? shot and you were on the set all the time. So, yeah, we would just join you and then come back to our waiting area. But, but you got to do and, it together. And not, which is, oh, yes. absolutely. Yeah. And oh, not no. playing air guitar like this. Playing air guitar like you're making a puppet air guitar <laughs> right. with rods and stuff. So right. yeah, that was really yeah. fun. I, wow. I loved it. I had a great time. Here's, I'm here's, a nice, now here's a nice shot of you back there when we did the. Uh, this was the end concert scene. 
And uh, I guess, yeah, you were doing, right, Jeff? That was great. That's when I was was playing knock-knock games with uh, Dave on the other side of the wall. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, explain that. Explain that, what you mean. Well, Dave and I did a whole series together. Dave Goals did, and I did a whole series together, Fraggle Rock. But we didn't, because David did ADR, so we play these characters in the trenches but we were not actually in the trenches together so this time we were actually in the trenches so i actually had a lot of fun with Dave. so this one time i was not gonna use nugget and i looked over and, and he looked over at the same time and we just burst out laughing because <laughs> <laughs> that said so people know that said is we're, they're separated by walls underneath um even though the bottom is open you don't really hear much that doesn't unless you're right down yelling from underneath you're trying to hear through a wall so everybody's kind of we're separated, but we're all together, right? We can all hear each other to a degree. But um, all right, Art, how about you? Any uh, moment that you enjoyed, or yeah, I think the things that I enjoyed the most were uh, to being able to play music. I, I grew up a musician. Mm-hmm. I, I did I, through college, and then I stopped, and I thought I was never going to get to use that. And it was real fun to like, like we said, get I mean, get to practice and and try to learn the the parts as close as we could to being able to perform them as if they were being performed uh really so yeah. i had a lot of fun with that and and like donna was what, talking what, about what that. can i ask what instruments you were work what did you i work? did i did drumming for for um for animal and then i got right. to do a uh, piano for you once uh yeah. in, the, in the backyard uh, in the backyard party. of the uh, the shack right yeah 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 so that, uh, that what song was that the um, um that's the joe cocker one mm-hmm. uh I can't remember what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, that one. Bye with a little help from my friends. A little help from my friends. No, no, this was the the um this was the oh, ballad at the that, pool. Yeah, where where Lily oh. Lily's it's her father's song that he used to oh, sing to her. Uh when the road gets dark. Oh, I can't think of that. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, have yeah, a little yeah. faith in me. Have a little oh, have a little faith. Oh my god, that was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And you did beautifully, Art. That you know that you. that opening is a little tricky there to to, to play that. Uh, yeah, YouTube there. YouTube is a good resource to uh, for that. I just looked at YouTube videos of of somebody playing the, those parts and oh wow. You know, is right. it difficult? Is it difficult to get used to uh, playing either guitar or piano? I guess since mm-hmm. you've got the you've got four fingers versus five, do you find yourself getting yeah? I have to translate, I'll translate a little, little bit of that so you can make it work. Yeah. Right. Bradley, you also did uh, uh, keys with me. Yeah. Which you amazing. What, yeah, to <laughs> Gene's point, what was that like being uh... Well, Teeth does have five fingers. He has five. Oh, he right? does? Yeah, oh, yeah. Which, does, which does actually help. But I do remember um, one of the things, like, you, you know, we would get sent ahead of time these individual parts, right? Depending on who you're playing the next day, you would get this, like, Dropbox link and it had the individual parts listed out for you. And so right. I would sit there with my AirPods and it would have like the real version over here and then just the piano version. And I would sit there and I would just like try my best to, to remember and, and, and play it. And then I remember every once in a while, like on my, on my uh, computer, I have GarageBand because uh, I have a, a, a Mac. Hmm. And so I would learn what chords were being played uh, in the song hmm. and then play it as accurately as I could while we were on set, which was super duper fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> except what what I would forget is I'm not playing here. I'm playing way up here, and so mm. I can't I can't quite see if I'm hitting like the right notes. But it was it was as close as I could get it. I got it pretty close. But it's you guys. I mean, that's the thing. It's we're we're all we're kind of cheating, right? It's a stylized it's a big, version. Yeah, yeah. It's a big pantomime. It's you want because you want to have some flair to it. You yeah. know, you want to make it feel like it's uh, real. But you know, if you really examine. I mean, yeah, there's kind of there's nailing, but very there's close. like a weird there's like a weird trick between being like really accurate mm-hmm. and being Muppety that mm-hmm. has to be like balanced because it's the point like if he's actually just I remember my first time doing this I think it was the director or you somebody said like D- do more because I was just playing the mm-hmm. actual part and I didn't realize oh right you have you sort of have to see it on camera that's the illusion otherise it just doesn't <laughs> look right so yeah right. I was just doing another and then doing like the talk doctor teeth way of being very extra with <laughs> yeah, yeah very jeff goldblum with my fingers yeah uh, and also something about the piano too is that um because of the shot right the frame sometimes if it's too wide you right we're missing it like if the real thing if the real thing you're playing is out this way 
we're kind of missing some of it, so we tend to cheat mm -hmm. a little bit. If we well, and, the, and the upper and lower keyboards really help you stylize, and you can cheat just a little bit and make sure you get the flourishes in. For, for, right, for, right. For teeth, yep. you know, yeah. A any um, moments, Bradley, that stick out for you? Yes, actually, yes. This is a this is another Dave Gold story, actually. That I'm not oh. sure. <laughs> I'm not sure if any of you know, actually. But um, this was on the day that got cut at the beach um where we were doing a whole bunch of like really fun dances and stuff like that and so i was so at first i wasn't really doing too much i was sitting there it was all like decorated and there were these lawn chairs there on the beach and i was sitting there and i was on my phone and leslie came and got mad at me because i was on my phone at the beach like a millennial <laughs> <laughs> and so i was like okay no that that tracks and so she was like do something real so she gave me a pen and then, then I, I started basically drawing um, characters on rocks um, for about an hour. And I was just, whatever, whoever would pass by, I would just draw their character and then that was a rock. And then I would draw their character and that was a rock. And then um, I, I had finished all my rocks. And then Alice Deneen comes up and says, um, would you like to assist uh, Mr. Goals today? I was like, oh, sure. Yeah, that's, that sounds great. And him and I to, at that point haven't really spoken very much yet at all. Um, and so... I go up and everybody's in this, you know, very Muppety clump on the floor, um, ready to do a uh, lip sync to rock and roll all night, um, which is a whole other story. And so the um, Dave is like, oh, hey, are you with me? And I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Here's what we're going to do. I've been singing and dancing with the Muppets for the last 50 years, trying to look cool. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you both arm rods. Here's an example. When we were doing Treasure Island, I gave Bill both of Bunsen's hands. And he came up with a dance like this in the middle of Cabin Fever. It was the best. It was the best, Bradley. I loved it. I need you to top that, Bradley. I need you to top that. You need to be better. <laughs> no pressure. I was, no like, pressure. I was like, Dave, that is not fair. I don't know what you And he was like, no, no. I'm serious, Bradley. I need you to top it. I need you to be better. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what do you, I mean, can you give me, he's like, I just want you to, I'm going to give you both arm rods and, and I want you to do something. Think, you know, think David Byrne, think, think Zoot. And I was like, okay. okay. And um, it was a, but it was a, it was a long, it was like Soul Train. It was a long line. Well, that was, people, so that right? was the second part. Oh, this was sorry. the first Excuse part me. where we were sorry. all in a group and, right, yeah. and, and teeth was right next to him and there was Floyd and Janice and lips, right. I think was over here. Right. And, but Zoot was like right in the middle. And so I came up with this dance where, um, basically the idea of the da dance was Zoot was trying to finish stacking his hands. Um, and oh, okay. the thing is he'll never finish, you know, stacking his hands. <laughs> and so, so he's like, here you go. All right, let's go. And then they start doing the thing. And it's like, it's not to the tempo. It's not to, it's on a rock and roll on that and party. And it's not, there's no real rhythm, rhyme or reason to it. And he's like, I'll follow you. And that's exactly what he did. And he came down and he was like, what was that? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he's stacking his hands. He said, that was brilliant. Bradley, oh my God, that was perfect. And because of what you did, I'm not going to lip sync to the song. And Bill's going to see it. He's going to get mad at me and we're going to get in a fight. Oh, this is perfect. <laughs> this is great, Bradley. This is great. And so uh, then we just kept going and it would devolve. And there was a moment where I reached over and I touched like Teeth's cheek and then <laughs> Zoot and gave him Zoot went and gave him a kiss. And then we went back to doing this thing here. <laughs> and there was a moment where you guys would like come forward and completely knock him down because he just had nothing to do with what was going on and you were trying oh, to do the song. And so yeah. then he falls oh, over. Yeah. It was so much fun, and between a bunch of takes, everyone would come come up and be like, "I love how Zoot is just in his own world. That yeah. is so great. He's just doing yeah. his own thing." He was like, "It's it's great, isn't it?" Oh man! <laughs> and then uh, after that, I was cut for the day. It was like that was pretty much it. Everyone was cut except for Dave. He was going to do his last little bit, and so I was about to start going home. And Dave was like, "Okay, Bradley, we're going to do this this like Soul Train deal, and, and and I need to come up with a bunch of dances. Will you help me out?" And I'm like, "Oh, I was just cut for the day, actually." He's like, "Oh no, can you stay? Would you would you be willing?" To? I was like, "Yeah, totally, totally." He's like, "I'm going to ask Bill. I'm going to ask Bill. I need you to help me out." And he goes and he finds Bill, and Bill's like, "If you want to stay, that's." Yeah. I was like, yeah. "Yeah, yeah, yeah, that's fine." And so I yeah. stayed and we came up with all these stupid, weird zoot dances where he's going through this. There are these people here and he's coming through this train. And so fun. It's a it was so much fun. 
didn't get yeah i wish i could have seen it on. and I so know. at the end of the day one of my rocks had zoot on it and on the back i had put the date and i left it on dave's uh cast chair oh. and so um he gets back to his chair and he sees this this rock i was right behind him he didn't know he sees this rock and he just sees the date on it he doesn't see that there's a full like zoot on the back of it he just sees yeah. the date and he's like Oh, this is great. Oh, who knew I wanted to remember today? Oh, that's amazing. That's Bradley, did you do this? I was like, yeah, I did that. He's like, oh, this is, pro. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm like, turn it around. <laughs> and he turns it around. And like, oh, oh my, this is, thank you so much. And he's like, thank you so much. I can't, I can't do it. And then he had me sign it and put it up in his office and stuff. That's it was really, awesome. really, awesome. but it was such a fun day. Awesome. I, I had a great time. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. He, uh, boy, when he gets excited about something, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, you just can't stop. Here's uh here's something I wanted to share. Who's that guy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> who is that? Who is that? Who is it? You don't recognize yourself? It's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, a, a crumpled uh, the, uh, green bean that just didn't make the look cut. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Are you giving the finger? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm he's, he's got a, It's like actually a, a two finger thing. He's oh, okay. like a, well, that's the British one. Yeah. There it like, is. <laughs> trying to get small, Bradley. Yeah. I have to share something with you. Um, Dave came over after you, you. You had a run with him, and you were doing these amazing things, and you guys just melded together. And he came up to Lee, and he says, "Bradley is he's he's I." He comes up with things that I can't even think of. He is, he is, I, I, and he just was, it was gushing. And it, was, it was just everything. Bradley, this Bradley, Bradley. Oh my God, Bradley. Uh, thank you for Bradley. And so he, um, he made sure that everybody knew that um, what you were doing with him was, was making him as happy as you, <laughs> you told the audience today. Because, yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. It was just a magical yeah. meld. And uh, I think you have a lifetime job. <laughs> what about you, B? What about you, B? How about a, a, some, anything that sticks out for oh, you? The, we, we've done so many of these, Bill. My God, we've had so <clears> many <throat> adventures and stuff. But I think we only go thing, back 30. How many now? Yeah. I, I think I feel like I'm a, the John Raffensperger of your, of, your, of your journey. And I get to, you know, at least, you know, I have one My potato journey. moment like that picture you showed, which I'll help, hope to never see again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the coolest thing about what you guys did this trip is that you didn't have to double characters. Everybody could just bed in and really just take take the layers and keep mm. peeling the onion to find more and more. And the, and the scripts and the words were there. So the journey and the arc of, of the first season was so complete and had so much soul. And I think it showed, I think Disney and, and, and the world and, and, and the fan base, if there's so much depth in these characters, you know, we've always yeah. loved them for their superficiality or, and, their, and their role within the, the Muppet you know, world and, and galaxy. But this time we got to feel their pain. We saw origin stories and the work you guys did and the, the comfort level, you guys didn't mean much, you know, like Alice and a couple of us here and there, you know, mm -hmm. um, it was, it was just like um, doing a feature film every week. We, we said that mm -hmm. during dinosaurs, you know, but right. the, the locations we went to boom, boom, boom. The, the the crew was oh off the charts Amazing. how they could set up and create the bubble wherever we were in the world and we it was, it was three times a week we were at different locations who <laughs> what show does that and it, it was it was an insane thing but everything was worth it and yeah. even the, the the one I went to early on it was uh, at Balboa Park and you were it, it was this incredible crane shot in the middle of the night. And I, I wasn't sure where this was in the script. Oh, I thought, yeah. oh, this is this is the this is the apex of the story. This is you know this is an unbelievable moment because it was like a field of dreams because the camera came up in the middle of the night. We, it was in the middle of the bloody night. It was a cold night in the park as it always is, and you know you're playing and then then this gorgeous crane shot with with the infinity of the cars going backwards, which you did beautifully. And I thought, what a shot! What to be a part of that? We were stayed up all night for it. And then when I watched the show, it was in the pre-show. It was before the credits. <laughs> the amount of money and the time and effort and, 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 and intricacy of these amazing things that you guys did and keep raising the bar of what puppets can do and how they can tell stories. It mm. is just a phenomenon to be a part of this and just to jump in and, and, and watch everybody and support everybody in, in this, you know, just art form that, that Jim and, and you and everybody else involved have taken to new heights 
and uh, it's it's just a joyous joyous journey yeah i think it's you know we don't we we all depend on each other to do all this stuff yeah There's, we can't do it alone which is what i love so much about it you know mm -hmm. everybody is so important to all of it or it's a completely collaborative situation and if you think you're going to do it on your own, you're dead wrong. I mean, and and it, and it shows because look, we got a second season, so apparently we're doing something, uh, doing something right, right? I mean, hey, speaking of collaboration, you know, Bill, yes. more people we can bring yes, into please. this mix. Let's bring them in. All right. Here's, how about if we go? Go ahead. You. Oh, you I was just going to say, here's a a fella uh, that I've known as long as I've known Bruce, actually. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, they call him Michelin Sisty. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mace. Hey, Mace. Hi, everybody. How you doing? I'm doing really well. And listening to you makes me sing with joy. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter have... of fact, I'm oh. going to take them. A... I'm sorry. No, do your no, introduction. Go no, no. Okay. No. Uh -uh. No. No. <laughs> no. I want them to, okay, I want them to come on. Oh, okay. Bring them first. Okay. Yeah. Here's a yeah. lovely couple. Uh, and uh, well, I, and actually, I've also known one of them just as long as you guys do, Mr. Drew Massey and Nicolette Santino. What? Hi, hi, <laughs> hey guys, welcome. Thanks, thanks for having Nicolette. us. Nicolette, yeah. did you just get off a plane from China or something? I did from Malaysia. Wow. Malaysia. I'm gonna fly over in China. Wow. I'm jet lagged. I, I have to bed until like 3 a.m. Wow. <laughs> and then, sorry, would you bring on a, no, oh, just, just to finish the thought? Nicolette's been touring the world with Coldplay for how long now? Two years, maybe? Two years. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Okay. Cool. And Drew, Drew yeah. has been, um, well, Drew's kind of talking to her on the phone and stuff. <laughs> Between all those AA meetings and uh, and drink, uh, <laughs> it's my guy, and we have another fine gentleman. Uh, we'll just bring uh, one, Mr. Tim Lagasse, oh, puppeteer okay. and an extraordinary workshop friend. And Hello, friend, builder, and magician. What can oh. he do? Can't, what can he do? That's right, B. What, what can I do? do? <laughs> yeah, what the hell do you do? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Thanks. So we were kind of going around and asking some memorable moments. But Misha, you were going to say something. and uh, you Well, oh, oh, thank, thank you, Bill. I wanted to take this opportunity, because who knows how many there will be, to thank you and all of our dear friends at Muppets f for 34 years. Ah. Of love wow. and laughter, it has been the most wonderful adventure anyone could imagine. Thank you. Hmm. Wow. wow. Thank you, Mish. She was. Wow. You're 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 my favorite daughter. Always be my favorite twins, daughter. You know. <clears throat> That's right. <laughs> Even um, when we're rolling around on the ground, yeah, in a big old rubber suit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so we were just asking uh, some memorable moments, and Mish, while we're with you, want. Can, is something actually i'd love you to talk just for a moment too first about um what it's like to do the drumming for animal you are really you brought animals drumming to a completely new level your focus oh. and it and and your attention and the specific specificity of what you do uh i know just makes eric so happy uh but how did you like what goes into that I think By the way, this is what. another way for Bill to say you drove me crazy with all this crap. No, <laughs> that's, that's not true. I just know I, I'm just like, go do your thing because I know how magical it is. <laughs> well, so. it, it's it's all up to you. You were the one who had had me come in with you on the Jimmy Kimmel show when uh, Kermit was doing the week of uh, co-hosting. And you had Animal in the first night to play with the band, with Jimmy Kimmel's band. And you caught me in. You brought me into uh and we were lying on the floor behind that little tiny wall. There was no room whatsoever. Didn't know what the hell we were doing, but we had we just played around. And from that point on, you were the one, and Debbie, of course, instrumental in uh, in saying, you know, uh, let's get Misha in here to help out. And my one desire, the, the overriding desire, and I talked to you about this at the very beginning, was that I asked if it was okay to make Animal a better drummer. 
<laughs> and God bless you. You said yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's interesting, too, because, you know, when Frank would do it on his own, right, wow. it was all even though it was all in time and crazy and, and rhythmic and um, Drew's not in his head, you know, it's all very kind of, you know, crazy and wild. And there's that element, which is animal. But then some but there then you find the balance in a way of the two. And I think there are people who enjoy watching the specificity of what you do while Eric is doing what he's doing and staying crazy. So I think it's a great combination. That's why I was excited to think, oh, let's see what this turns out to be, you know, <laughs> uh, and it's just so great. But any moments that uh, you just do you think? Well, about? Uh, there were so many, Bill, with Muppets Mayhem and with everything else. Oh, we sorry, sorry, excuse done. me. Pardon, pardon me for one second. But I just want to also say you have to also know, folks, that Misha has the sheet music uh, taped up inside of the drums. The charts, yeah. So the charts are all there. And he's playing it. I mean, he's real, real, baby. <laughs> and it's up here. It's not like it's in fun either. <laughs> he's interpreting it up here, you know. So that's just uh, so much fun to see and, and watch you level. But sorry, Thank go you. ahead. Yeah. Thank you. Well, th there have been so many moments over all of these years and Muppets Mayhem in particular this last year. But the my my favorite funniest moment for me was when we were shooting in the in, around an empty pool in a house uh, somewhere one night sure. and and we had the uh, the choral people coming in to the frame and start singing and there was oh. one guy at the corner of the frame <laughs> when everyone was going this way he was going this way and you tried every oh. way you could God tell bless him that guy go oh. in the same way well the thing is that there were three people that came up to me and they were saying bill he's he's not with <laughs> he's with everybody and i was like he'll get it he'll get it oh, another person comes up Bill. <laughs> I said, well, well, what do you want me to do? So another person comes. Do you know, did you, do you, are you, are you seeing like the guy? I said, I was like, you know what? This is supposed to be. This is exactly what the Muppets should be. There should be one guy always out of sync <laughs> with the rest of it. And, you know, that's just what it was, right? What do we, I mean, I, I loved it actually. I, I, can, I was just watching him. Every time he was just so out of <laughs> out of sync with everybody, trying to like. <laughs> he was so kind. He was so. It was kind. the most so entertaining sweet. evening. Oh, he was so sweet. He tried his best too. You know, that's all you can ask for. The guy yep. was trying his best. You know, yeah. that's great. Um, how about you, uh, Drew? Uh, when we did, so you came and you did the title sequence. Right. Yeah, Eric was talking about wishing he could hear that theme song over and over and over again on repeat. <laughs> and I was thinking, what? we've done that <laughs> the for a whole day. It was great. It was, it was yeah. really fun. That was really fun. We well, did, you did uh, several characters. Yeah, I did uh, like full body Floyd and yep. Janice and then Animal. Um, Who did Zoot? Did you do Zoot too? I might have. I don't know. It was a blur. I remember what we it's did. A blur now. Yeah, I think I, yeah. I think I did. Um, yeah. And then you did lips and and teeth, right? Oh, maybe so. Oh, did I do yeah. lips? Yeah, I think that was yeah. it. Right, 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 right. But so, um, I mean, that's a whole different thing that people don't kind of normally see or understand is, you know, the full body thing, um, how to how to interpret somebody else's character knowing their style can you talk a little bit about you know maybe recognizing certain styles or behavior and characters and how you you know kind of step in for that yeah i mean a lot of it is is for me like vocally so i would try to like get the voice in my head mm. ahead of time because that right. informs a lot of like how they move and, and playing right you play a little like we'll talk we'll play on yeah. set so For we sure. talk and little we'll do stuff and try and get into them. <laughs> right. Yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, but no, that's 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 just how I kind of got centered on each character and and it was uh man, it was really fun. I gotta say, I remember the first time Misha came in with the sheet music, and then he he like literally straps the rods to his wrist. I was like, <laughs> this is getting too serious. What's <laughs> If there was a fire, he'd, he'd just play and the band would go down with the shit. <laughs> yeah. Dedication. 
Dedication. It was, it was awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we, we had a whole whole day of fun playing and dancing. And it's so it's so satisfying to see Muppets full body. I love whenever they have their feet. Yeah. Like that whole thing with the with the Minecraft concert and seeing them in their little mocha. <laughs> <laughs> Just killed right. me. Like, oh, right. I love that stuff. Yeah. And um and so Nicolette. Yeah. How, how about you? What, how was your experience on there? Because how long had you been puppeteering by the time we were still? I mean, for quite a while, right? For ten years. Them? Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yep. And yeah. so, did did you? Was it any different coming into the kind of Muppet world in any way, or did you? Is it was it easy to transition? And is there anything different about it than what well, you were I used to? No, I mean, I think what, uh, for me, it's like getting to know new people, which makes me nervous. And, right. you know, because I'm quite shy. But then once you get to know me, I'm not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I think I think I was just like trying to I walk into a room and feel everything out. And, you know, right. what what is everyone's tactic? All right. How do they approach what they're doing? How can I fit myself in? And um you know, like a puzzle piece, you know, where can I, what can I do? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, you know, once I started to work with you guys, it's so easy to work with all of these wonderful, talented people that I was just like, oh, okay, we're, we're going to have fun. This is going to be a fun job. So. Cause yeah. you're very difficult to work with. Yeah, I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and so it was a lot of, oh, okay, Nicole. Yeah. I mean, Nicolette. Yeah, that's okay. Fine. <laughs> Uh, no, no, um, no, you're you're so much fun to have around. But but the um, I, actually, I'm just remembering. I think the first time I worked with you, Nicolette, was on what there was like um, the Happy Time Murders. I think. No, wasn't it? Didn't we do some? Oh, it was Happy Time Murders because it. But it was the um, Drew. What was that thing we went and did with that? That oh god, guys that came in. Yeah, that uh, was that was the like the promo we did promo for Happy Time. Oh right, right. And oh, you, but I yeah. didn't really like get to. I didn't get to know you that much. But when we did those promo days, and I kind of got got you know to get to know you a little better. I think, and that's right. I, I thought, I, oh yeah, she's gonna fit in good. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was one of the girls on the couch where people would come in and take a photo with, and I would just harass everyone. <laughs> Oh yeah, at the live pop-up event. At the event. live pop-up event, thing. yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was awesome. fun. <laughs> and Mr. Legas here, I'm just going to share something real quick. Uh-oh. <laughs> Do you oh, prefer no. Legas? You have a lot of Legasi. Uh, Legasi is correct, but I'll answer to about five or six pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Legasi, too. It's yeah. more Italian, I think. Uh, it's French. Well, it's French. I like it. You're getting murdered here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's where i live under the piano this, this gives people an idea of kind of the situations that you could be in with dr t <laughs> that's that's the day the piano fell on you correct that is the day the piano <laughs> fell on me yep uh, uh, the double piano uh, i'm under because we're actually on the floor normally the piano is raised up but i'm actually laying on the floor on my back and i have my legs in lotus positions so i don't kick floyd <laughs> who's in front of the piano and then right. i think i was laying in your lap i think you yeah. kind of got up behind me and I kind of put my head in your lap, and I played piano, playing, you know, both, you know, and and playing with that, mic reaching that microphone. Oh, and it was yeah. really good for me, by the way. I just oh, wanted... good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Good, good. I'm happy. I have a warm back. <laughs> um, but so, in addition to, I mean, actually, any thoughts about? Oh, I, you know what? I didn't ask Nicolette um, any moments in particular, just as far as being on the the show. You know, the any anything that sticks out in particular. Well, I thought. It was super fun being a part of the title sequence for that yeah. day. I yeah. got to like sample size all the different um, instruments and the characters because I was uh, assisting for the hands. Right. Uh, so that was quite a big treat for me. I think that was yeah. that was an honor. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And Timmy, how about something? Uh, anything that sticks out for you being on? Because well, you also were wrangling and working at the shop I, as well. I, I had to rebuild uh, Animal's eye mechanism. It broke on the very first day. It came off the plane. Oh, brought I, me in and I, had to, I have all these photographs of Animal's head opened up because I had to remember where all the feathers went back after I went in. Oh my God. God. I couldn't take them all completely apart. I had to open up the back of his head, which was nerve-wracking, opening up Animal's <laughs> head and then going in with, with forceps and repairing this eye mechanism for Eric the way <laughs> Eric wants you. it. 
Sorry, so. I just as a question, came. <laughs> I am not really the Emerald. I and if I was, I'd had better cease at his, at his restaurants than I do. I walked in and I look at you, and I go, "Don't worry, I'm not related to him." All right, sorry, I mean interrupt. Uh, it's okay. Uh, and I had to rebuild a bit of Penny. We had to, we had to some uh, rebuild. I had to, I put the backpack in Penny for for Leslie so she could. Uh, they take the weight off. I took one of your backpacks and retrofitted it in, but I right. ran, uh, and uh, but the thing about wrangling the first couple of days in that show is one thing we didn't realize is normally there's about 20, 30 puppets we have to prep, and this is only six or seven. But every day in the story, they're wearing a different outfit, mm. and we would shoot the scenes out of order. So I'll say, okay, this first hour we're shooting with costume one. The second hour we're doing is F at three, F at seven. So the minute we would cut and we'd have to do something else, all the puppets would have to come off stage and we'd have to redress everyone over and over. I have never dressed Dr. Teeth more times in my life than I did the first day. I think you wore like seven different outfits the first day. And he's not yeah. easy to redress because his arms are slinkies. I don't know if I'm right. telling anything out of school. No. But they're these long <laughs> slinkies. And yep. it's really hard to pull the slinky out of an outfit. And they has like these spandex sleeves. And you're like, I was going to, I think I cried a little that day. <laughs> I think oh, a lot of tears maybe. in those first couple weeks. It was, the, it, we were really, and, and the direct, and the stage manager's like, where are the puppets? I'm like, oh, we have, to, they need new outfits. We can't find his ascot. I need, <laughs> it's the wrong ascot. It's not according to the thing. I got to find my ascot for him. And you, and you have to pin them all back together. I mean, each one of the outfits. It goes on with about 30 or 40 safety pins and so right. normally on a show you get to leave someone dressed all day in their same outfit not that show so it was like i we earned our keep on the first couple of days and then scheduling was like maybe we should think about this when we schedule the the shoot the next time yeah, yeah. Bill, can i, I think just... we oh sorry. sorry no i was just gonna say i think we realized that we uh cross-boarded or tried to block shoot too many episodes at once yeah, it, w it wasn't good for many reasons, you know. <laughs> yeah, what sure. you're talking about. Explain all block shoot to everybody. Well, you know that you you can you take three episodes basically. One director does, let's say, three <laughs> episodes, and you shoot them out of order. But you're taking a scene from episode five, and a scene from episode seven, and a scene from episode one, <clears throat> and you're shooting them in the same set because they all take place in the same set. So it saves you time. That makes sense. Uh, in a way. Uh, but it comes down to continuity and knowing what people are wearing and what were they wearing in the scene before mm -hmm. the scene that you're doing and so on and so forth. But I think we realized three was just probably too many. And also, it's not fun. You guys can speak to this. But as far as performing characters, knowing where you are in a script and a story and you're Especially trying to emotionally. Track. Yeah. You got to keep yeah. adjusting. Um, right. I just wanted to call out the the amazing job that Jane Gutnick and and Leslie did in bringing Penny, which which it was it was workshopped on camera. You needed to have that character early, and that character. Anytime you have a Bobo sized character where you're inside yeah. a submarine <laughs> where you've yeah. never been before, and you try to find to find the periscope, let alone the mouth. You, well, you it, helped it, her a lot too, Leslie. I, I was there emotional. I was an emotional animal for her, but she was. Mm. I, I I don't know how many people could have done what she she just dived in and and everything you know physically that had to be right for a puppet like that was yeah. was done you know behind the scenes it was with fervor and, and and unbelievable grace and and got to camera and and the performance was there but man it needed it needed a, a month of workshopping because that's a big character to bring the screen in yeah, the Muppet and, and, world it's not a, it, literally yeah exactly so that, man the folks at Puppet Heap you know, built her, um, Paul and Draco designed her. But then even when she arrived in L.A., Peter McKinnon um, did a lot of work with her and getting her to work for Leslie, you know, to get oh the my right God. grip, the right feel. It's you have very... to have that because when you're thinking about the little things, you're missing the moments as you're going, what's with my thumb? And then you've missed right. a whole line. Or and beat. also when you have a new puppet, uh, uh, it's a new puppet. I, we built all the other Muppets before, but Penny was brand new and you put it on and you see it move and you kind of go, you know, what? doesn't look good. Cause you, you know, right. we built it to look like the picture and then you start working it and like, ah, guys, we got to, it looks kind of strange here. Yeah. So yeah. Peter McKenna had to do, he was basically rebuilding that puppet almost every night for the first week. Just kind of just another dial there in. God bless him. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. crazy yeah. how much and people don't realize how much engineering goes into puppets mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah. the puppets and like making sure that the corners of the mouth provide zero resistance. Like it's, 
it's really a, a crazy art form. And, and and Stacey, don't you anybody, usually just start with great. something like this? It's just a big sock. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, to Drew's point, the first time I really understood yeah. what the workshop yeah. does was when we did Muppets Tonight. And I mean, I had seen, obviously, I was in the workshop for Treasure Island and stuff before that and seeing them make stuff. But the detail, the small thing, I remember this character that I was doing, Johnny Fiamma. Mm -hmm. I was, I, they made him and he came there and I was working on him. And I guess when I would do him, I would do this, right? Like this thing. And Jane would call it the Jersey smirk, like this. <laughs> and and uh, she goes, well, he doesn't have a Jersey smirk. And I looked, I was like, you know what? He it was just, it was a flat line. And Jane built in, a uh, no. Jersey smirk, you know, on each side of his mouth. The little, she's amazing with that. That's that's like Jane yeah. to you know, she just looks at it and she goes, Yeah, yeah, beautiful, but <laughs> don't you wanna maybe it's uh and she finds that thing that just makes it unique to the Muppets, I think. Yeah, you know, her eye is unbelievable. Yeah. But you guys, all you guys in the works, I mean, like Drew said too, it's just Mm -hmm. What goes into that is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Do we have questions, Gene, out there maybe for some? Um, let's see. All right. Let's see. How about a show with them up at uh, uh, Johnny Fiamma should sing with the Electric Mayhem. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That'd be crazy. He'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the next team of love. <laughs> There's Black hole more sun. Comments like and questions. Let's see. Uh, we need some more of Johnny Fiamma's sauce, Mama's sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your number one fan? It's, it's someone's asking. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's that was my first girlfriend in high school. Was it? Oh, <laughs> oh. we really? still love each other to this day. Oh, nice. oh. really? Oh. Love. That's amazing. I still know my first girlfriend too. Yeah. Very close. <laughs> uh, throw that in there. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute, Gene. Gene, did you know Linda too? Oh. <laughs> okay. That's the Linda? Oh. That's the Linda? This podcast Donna? is over. Donna, do you know do you still know your first <laughs> Me? Yeah, yes, I, I do. do. Yeah. I do. We're actually he texted me the other day, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm like, okay, happy Thanksgiving to you too. And he said, Hey, a friend of mine's looking for puppets for a movie. I passed your name along. I'm no like, way. awesome. I'm so glad we stayed in touch. <laughs> That's amazing. That's that great. Amazing. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Anybody um, else? Yeah. I don't think I don't see any other. I mean, I'm looking for It's a lot of comments. I don't see specific yeah. questions. Uh, wait, yeah. this. Uh, oh, wait, what is that? Oh, I see. Sorry, guys. Um, How about uh, this one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This Drew guy sounds like Evan the Troll. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny how that works. Good ear. Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any um, any of you that experienced uh, some cameos that you enjoyed? Oh, I will they say it was things. it was super fun at the rap party event to be able to uh, talk to Weird Al. That was ah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. That was very, very cool. Big um, moment. He was the most photographed oh, well, that night, I think. Yeah. Oh, it was you. It was you. You two. Yes. To, you, <laughs> right. You. What? You enabled that. Because I was like, I was like, I was like, Bill, I want to talk to Weird Al, but we want to meet. We want to meet Weird Al. <laughs> we don't know him. We need an in. Yeah. Could you? <laughs> right. I didn't know him. I didn't know him. You didn't know him. Oh, here's here's a question for you. I don't know if it's something you would want to answer. Can you tell us anything about the backstories we were going to get for season two? <laughs> <laughs> um. Anybody? <laughs> just a lot of crying. No. Oh, here's no, here's one. Who was because we never say director? never, folks. We never say never. You never right. know, Billy. Who was the animation director? Let's give them a shout out. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my yeah. god, that was great. Uh, the person who uh, did the uh, stop robot motion chicken. Robot chicken. Oh, was robot chicken. Oh, really? Who so does Seamus, robot chicken? Seamus Walsh and uh, company. Thank you. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. Or uh, isn't that it? Wait, who does robot chicken? Is that who that is? No, no, it's, no, no it's um, oh, that was the guy Seth, 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 what? Uh, Green, Seth Green, Seth Green, Seth Green, Green Company. Green. Yeah. 
Seth Seth Green's Green. uh, animation company. And then I'm on Family Guy. Oh. He's, he's a great Matt guy. Yeah. 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 Great, great stuff. It was fun. We got to go watch them do some of it. Uh, it was pretty cool to see how they did. <laughs> you know, it's really, their maquettes were amazing. Wow. Amazing. How about yeah. this one? I don't, how do the mechanics and lips work? Is there something different about him that, uh, so the slide. Well, oh, oh, the, the eyes, eyes, the the eyes, eyes rotate, they go, yeah. and they have, the, and then on the trumpet, he's got, uh, he's got like mechy oh, fingers right. for to, to play yeah, the trumpet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. it's a very old mech made out of plywood from God, I don't know how long ago. It's like yeah. every once in a while, you grab a puppet and you go, this puppet, this this prop is forty years old. <laughs> so we're still using it. This yeah. Right. So those lips controls are those? How old are the lips controls that we have today? I, look... I think those are from. I think those are from Muppet Movie. Wow. But they might have refurbed him a little bit right before we did because we had they made a second one. They made a second one, but they there's still just that one trumpet which is attached to well, the one trumpet. You, right. you have to you take, you take, it's attached to the arm. You have to put the special trumpet playing arm on him that's attached right. to the trumpet. It's all one unit right. because it's all heavy. the cables all the cables come up through the elbow. Go into you say the, it's heavy the art? elbow. Yeah, the the, yeah. the trumpet front. Up, yeah, right. Is anybody there, have a favorite um, character? Oh, sorry, you got Gene. Oh, I was going to say, is there? A, does anybody have a, their most emotional scene they worked on personally? Uh, yeah, the the song that uh, the Matt sang uh, at the at the um, the hibachi place. Yeah. Uh, he, and yeah. I was I was I was just holding the arm, and and he was just unplugged, and it was um, oh man, it was just to the bone, and I was just yeah. bawling, and it was just so beautiful. I think everybody was. They were talking. They mentioned that earlier because um, yeah. I it, there was it was we had the recording of it. He was going to sing to the recording, and he oh, yeah. was mentioning how I asked him just to do it live, and then we and he would didn't add want in. to. He didn't want to, and then I know. Would. And that's and always the best beautiful. stuff, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. I, had, I, do, I when, had, um, Oh yeah, go ahead. Sorry. sorry, you can go ahead. You're in charge. No, no, I no. I was just going <laughs> to no, say I. Um, it wasn't. wasn't during the song, but it was the lead into the the song that we did at the end, Bradley. The um, oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. What's the what was the song? It was oh, if only I remembered. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Liar. Exactly oh, what you're talking about, though. Like not the song itself, but your speech talking yes. about the family and me. Be I was your hands for that, yeah. and that was hearing. I've never heard such a good like. I don't know, meld of, of Muppet voice work and emotion coming through. So like, and you did it every take, like every take, it yeah. was this different sort of like heart wrenching thing. And I remember all of us just being so amazed at like, how did he make that sound like that and feel like that? Yeah. It was, it was, I'm sorry, I'm being so articulate and I'm maybe losing. <laughs> no, no. But, and, <laughs> and it's, um, that actually, I, I mean, believe in us. Yeah. Yeah. Believe in us, right? Yeah. Oh. But I, uh, and I could do it now, you know, it could happen right yeah, now because yeah. it's just all about what, you know, you used right in the moment for those things. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's my grandparents, you know. Yeah. Oh. I remember oh. you saying that at the moment. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It was very there moving. Beautiful. There you go. And so, uh, you, you know, that's part of what we do, right? We're, we're really acting. People think that. Yeah we're just holding up puppets sometimes and we're just doing voices. But um, that's the, that's the, what I love is when we can really relate and really play scenes to each other and really live in a moment. <laughs> you know? mm. It's uh, it's so fun. Bill, hey, speaking of that, is there an episode that you're oh, most proud of Billy? Thank you. Donna. Oh, yeah. An episode that I'm most proud of. Yeah. Oh, God, that's hard. Uh I don't know. I don't think I could pick one. I really. I, uh, What's I your love, favorite? I don't think I. I'm sorry. I'm so boring with this stuff. <laughs> I, uh, I. I. Here think, you go. I got one. Which one of these people is the best puppeteer? Is that an easy one? Yeah. Not, not yes, that's yeah. very easy. <laughs> that's that's nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I'm gonna off that one. No, that. <laughs> uh, no, no. I tell you what. I do. What I did love a lot was um the writing uh oh, yeah. the, the the group of writers that we that adam brought together the the way that we kind of all worked together and played off of each other really proud of i think these stories and what we found and yeah. 
new stuff and old stuff that we tried to bring in, you know, it was really a great experience to write with them. Such a great collaborative experience. And I, and, um, I love the, li all of the little things about Jerry and Jim, <laughs> about Jerry and Jim in the Dr. Teeth origin story. I have to say not because it's Dr. Teeth, but I loved all the stuff, how we thought, okay, this is Jerry and Jim, you know? Yeah. I and love so that it was Jerry's music store. Yeah. yeah. Jerry's yeah. music <laughs> store. The, the year it was established is his birthday, you know, oh. uh, birth year, I should say. Um, oh. But we thought of it as if this were Jim and Jerry, because, you know, in, in my mind, the age that Floyd was a little older, we made him a little older, yeah. like Jerry and Jim. Yeah. Uh, and it was just fun to, to build that, you know, and, and to think about them while we were playing these scenes, Matt and I, you know. Yeah. So that I was that. so cool. That was such a great episode. I loved how it really it had that great wistful flashback, you know, tone of like Forrest Gump, you know, which is really tugged at your heart. <laughs> yeah. This is like, oh, it's 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 Sergeant Pepper. He's back. <laughs> right. <laughs> now he's got I a think, full mustache. Yeah, I think people are a little worried too that maybe we were going like too far back. Oh no, you're gonna you're in the we're putting them in the 50s, you know, like. Like, yeah, no, this is good. Well, people relate to this period, you know, that they're we're going back that far. Because at first people were like trying to put them a little bit, you know, like maybe they should be in the 60s. And it's like, no, 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 no. We got to go like where they would really be, you know? Yeah. And uh, and it really was set the tone in New Orleans at that time. And the, the um, production design is great. You feel like you're really there. Mm -hmm. It's That's really cool. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It was a fun one. Yeah, I love all the details, the Molar Express and the, the roof canal yeah. and that they like, re, re tool the Molar Express to be the mayhem boss. And like, there's so many great little threads. Like your writer's room was was spectacular. Crazy. They've Jeff made... York's, one of my favorite moments was uh, he came up with, uh, among many other things, but one of them is when they're looking out at the stars and uh, they, they recite oh, they the first with... two, yeah. the, the lines of uh, Can You Paint Your Life? Yeah. yeah, they look at each other like, oh. yeah. That's okay. I also love that it's you, you can explain the story in such a simple way. Like when your friends are talking about it, it, it makes sense for this to be the origin story. If somebody says, "Why is he called Doctor Teeth?" Oh, well, because he was gonna be a dentist. But right. it, like you know what? It, it's how to. It, it's got that single sentence descriptor that just really works. And when you go in depth, you're not going so deep that nobody cares. It's not mm. super inside baseball, but it, it's just enough for you to like understand and gain a real appreciation for like how Dr. Keith ended up who he is today. And yeah. It just makes sense, which I really, and every, really appreciate. And, and in our writer's room, there were different people who locked, you know, they connected in or locked into different characters more than others. And um, they would come out with, oh, what about that or this? And I, and just as an example with a Dr. Teeth thing. So I have a, a friend who's a doc, a, a dentist. In New Orleans, his name is John Salino, and known him for a long time. And uh -huh. so I, you know, that was kind of, of in here when we when we did that. You know, it was like, <laughs> right. Yeah, all right, this is for John. You know, uh, and, and trying to think about people, and it, I think that's all part of why this thing feels good because we're, yeah, we, you know, it's everybody's a part of it in some way. You hope, I guess. I don't know. Is that corny? It's too corny. Too corny. <laughs> 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 why the Muppets belong on television? Yeah. Absolutely yeah, personal. personal. Make yeah, it personal, keep it personal. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. Well, what should we do? It's uh, seven o'clock. Well, I get the people the hell out of here. Let them go and have a <laughs> life. <laughs> Let them go. Puppets all night. Come on. But be before we go, Billy and Gene, thank you guys for doing this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having you for fun, sharing man. your love and then giving this umbrella to everybody to enjoy and understand yeah, sure. what it takes and uh, mm -hmm. including us all to. Uh, Connect with the people out there who love the Muppets. Making a really so great much. show. Yeah. Oh my god, it's hard yeah. to do. <laughs> people don't realize it's really hard to do. So. Well, that's what, why what, we only do. Uh, what? That's why we got a second season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. Well, that's why I just so no, we, that's why we just do shows occasionally now because it is a lot of work and we're both busy. So you know, it's not like the COVID period when we were doing one or two a week. So we right. just, when something comes up and we have the time, that's when we're doing these, which is yeah. really fun this way too. 
soon. All right, now get the hell out of here. All yeah. right. All right. Fuck off. All right. Happy Christmas. Love, love, love you. Love you. I was going to say bye, bye Donna. Donna. Gene, you're going to do that? Bye, bye Donna. Yeah. Bye, B. Bye. Peace. Bye, everybody. Bye, B. Bye. Bye, Drew and Nicolette. Or Nicolette and Drew, I should say. Yeah. Bye, bye. Wait, and why am I? Bra why Bradley put me on his screen? Look at that bastard! <laughs> what? He, he didn't make you cut okay. yourself. Look at him. What happened? He put me on his Bradley. I'm in his screen. <laughs> what happened? Misha, see you, Mish. Mish. See you later, Art. Art thank, you. Bye. Bye. thank you. Bye. Bye. Look, there's two of me, Gene. What happened? Oh, look what he's doing. He's a bad. What's going on? <laughs> uh -huh. No way. Can uh -huh. you? Can you? How does really? that happen? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. You should do a face <laughs> block. <laughs> mm. That's so weird. All right. Oh, no, really, oh. Really close. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Brian. All right. See ya. All right. Bye. Bye, bye buddy. <laughs> how do you do, do, that? do that? I don't know. No, no, no. But. Uh, but. Hey. Oh, you know what, Billy? I'm the, oh, my God. <laughs> Beretta Brothers. Beretta Brothers. <laughs> hey, Scott Joy. Scott Joy is bicycling all over the place. You should see him. He's, he's like obsessed with it. Are Drew and Nicolette married? Not yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. No. You just pull in comments and questions? I just saw that one. Uh, okay. Shall we uh, say toodaloo? Thank you, everybody, for coming. Yeah, well, well we, we have to share one last thing here. Yeah, we mentioned um, where is it? Liana Rivera, who won America's Got Muppet Talent, uh, singing her rendition of Rainbow Connection on the piano, sent us a recording of her doing a rendition on the ukulele. So we're gonna say goodbye now. Do we have anything that we need to plug? That's uh, no, nah. <laughs> We're not doing our usual, just cut it off. And you would think this would I have a cashew. I'll have a lemon ginger right. candy. But listen to the song. Stay, even though we, you know, it's just our thing. Just listen. Yeah, to we're going to play it the and end. go out on this. All right? It's beautiful. Please have a listen. You'll love it. See you Thank all next you. time. There's going to be a part four um, coming up. Bye. Which part? What? Ah! <laughs> What are you gonna? <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say we should probably mute ourselves, but it automatically did it when you brought yeah, it up. Yeah, it does. Okay. okay, here we go.
Thank you.